The following takes place between the hours of 6.32 p.m. and 6.35 p.m. on the eve of issue 141. Events occur in real time. City Cup. You should take me to the Bowery. This is real gold? No, I never understood that, how people can bite it and it'd be real gold, you know? I need you to focus, kid, all right? I need to see the Bowery now. Whoa, okay, take it down a notch. First of all, I don't deal in gold. That's up the street. And I don't know who this Bowery dude is. Hello, Mr. Valletto. You can come with me the easy way. All the hard way. Holy shit. No, no. All right, I ain't doing this. You want the gold? Take the gold. I don't think it's worth anything much, man. But if you really need it that bad, go ahead and take it. I don't want any part of this. The Mulchi! Now, Mr. Valletto, the choice is yours. Push on the hole. at 12920 Philadelphia Street, Whittier, California at Undercity Comics. Keeping Up with the Nerds presents Issue 141. My name is Brian. My name is Dick. Renee. And hey, welcome to the show. Hey. Woo. I forgot my name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did hesitate. We're you're going up to the next level. First you forget the issue number and now your name. What's no. next? Your identity. Do you know what the funny thing? I, I actually was like, what's a funny bit I can do right now? And then, <laughs> and then I, I wasn't paying attention to what you were saying. <laughs> what? Oh, what? I was like, huh? <laughs> Nicholas! <laughs> waking up. Actually, this entire thing was a daydream, and you are waking up in your 11th grade English class. Oh, oh God. God. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Actually, you know what? That'd be kind of sick. Golden was kind of cool. That's cool. Yeah, he's a cool guy. Oh, yeah. How you guys been? I've been okay. Yeah. 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 I've officially started Pokemon card collecting. Right. Oh, really? So, yeah. Under, under other news. No! Uh, <laughs> let me speak! Let me have my moment. Let me talk. 
Let me, let me say some stuff, man. Okay, there's a good I want to be included. My... All right. Maybe I want to talk about my day. What about that? No one cares. Oh, thanks, Brian. Thanks for putting me down. Are you talking to yourself? Now? I am. Are you dude, doing you know a what? self podcast? <laughs> Are you interviewing yourself right now? Like, what is going on? Dude, you do not want to be in my head, man. It gets complicated. Yeah, it, there. it sounds drunk. Yeah. <laughs> It just sounds just, stressful. It sounds, dude, you don't even know how. It dude, sounds man. like you got drunk, you said something about your own mother, and then decided to fight yourself. Oh, dude, I'm always fighting myself, dude. Why do you think I always put on podcasts as I'm driving, dude? I get angry at myself. I'm like, You're like what did you say? What did you say? It doesn't you, even say matter. again. Say again. Say again. Say again. Oh, oh, that what? reminds me of remember what I told you about last night. I was so I was waiting for this guy to pick me up after, uh, before the movie. Right? Oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah, and then there is these. Pre- Maybe you left at like ten forty, ten fifteen <laughs> like for 10, a ten forty five movie. 15, yeah. in yeah. <laughs> Bro, I only need half an hour to get to Santa Anita. Maybe less. Yeah, that's true. My he was he was gutting it. Yeah. He was gutting. No, I, mean, no, no, I was, dri- no, I was driving wasn't. safely. Yeah. He's driving safely wasn't. at sixty five miles an hour with his foot on the gas. Yes, through a school zone. <laughs> But it was the freeway, guys, so it's fine. Yeah. Um, There's a school on the freeway. <laughs> so this guy so this guy comes so this, up to you. Three guys were walking down the street, and I'm standing next to the brick wall right here in front of the store at the alleyway right here. And um, I'm just standing there. I'm on my phone and stuff, and these three guys are just walking. One of them was really drunk, and just like every time he saw someone, he was just like, what, what, and stuff. And his friends are trying to pull him back, tell him, let's go, let's go, let's go. So I'm standing on my phone. I have Mandy on the phone, so she's in my earbuds. And then she's talking to me. I'm just kind of talking to myself. It seems like I'm talking to myself, but I'm not. I'm talking, what are you doing? He's fine. I fight with myself. He fights with the mic. <laughs> I, kept, I kept like trying to like stretch yeah. as you were talking, and I kept hitting the thing. Yeah. Like, and I was like, John, oh. <laughs> just, just John Wick. <laughs> <laughs> I can't dress like him. Yeah. I, I have to. I, if, I, if you dress like him, you gotta. So you gotta I fight, fight my yeah. mind. He fights the mic. You almost fought a guy. I almost fought a guy. Apparently, you, uh, what, he what comes up to me. He goes. They're just like I can hear. I can subtly hear what they're saying. He goes, hey man, let's go home. Let's have a nightcap and let's just call it. He goes, yeah, but what about this food? And he just comes up to me and he goes, you good? And I'm and I'm staring at him and he's all. Bro, and I'm like, yeah. I think you are you good? Yeah, he's all, I think you wanted a sexy. <laughs> and I'm like, it's dope. And I'm like, yeah, I'm good. Are you good? He's all like, just staring at me. He's all just shaking his head. And his, his friends are like, no, nah, he's good, man. He's good. And we're like, we're sorry. I'm like, that's okay. You, know? you should have gone like, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, just throw a little kissy lips, dude. It was so, dude, it was, was like, oh, dude, no. Dude. It was so just random. And I'm just standing there and I'm smiling at the guy too. I'm not, I'm not even like phase or anything. Mm-hmm. And um, it's just M- Maddie's on the phone, just like worried. She goes, "Are you okay? What's going on?" I'm like, "Well, this guy was about to have an interesting night right now." <laughs> so like, if he kept going, I'm to mess him up, dude. Yeah, I was giving the one two, you know. Yeah, backbreaker. <laughs> He's about to cheat on you. She <laughs> <laughs> just, just goes, "About to cheat on you." Yeah. <laughs> like, She's like, "What?" Just some guy just walked up to me, and I was like. I go, dude. Yeah. And so then, <laughs> Brian, I told I, I, I told Brian about it. He's like, "Did you start? Were you thinking about taking off your clothes?" And she's like, "Come on, let's go." You know, I was like, "You know what?" That did cross my mind after he left. I was like, "What would he do if he?" After I started just like getting unbuttoning my pants. Yeah, just like, "All right, let's do this." You know, like, <laughs> he's like, "Bro, what?" Whoa, See, whoa. if he's not intimidated by that, then you have to grab your nutsack mm-hmm. and squeeze. Oh, that'll show it. <laughs> 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 This that like, shows no fear, dude. Yeah. No fear, no pain. Just grab it like, oh, yeah. <laughs> just give him the like, brain. I could take it. <laughs> like, you would just give him the brain? Yeah. Like, yeah, exactly, dude. What would you do? You'd be like, oh, what, dude? This man's crazy. No, no you way. Just, you, just, you, you, just, you start jacking it. <laughs> I just go like, up to him just like. <laughs> if that doesn't work, yeah. we're not a we're not a safe for work podcast here. No, we're not, yeah. <laughs> just just start, just especially start. visually as well. <laughs> the hat bat, the hat bit was pretty good. Was pretty good. Yeah. So I was listening to issue uh, one hundred and forty. Yeah, um, I was like, okay, I want to I want to do some quality yeah. control. Speaking of stroking yourself, no, that's not <laughs> what we talk about. See, this is why yeah. I, I'm very afraid to talk about like listening to our own show because yeah. it's like ego. Check. It's like, nah, dude. I'm doing it for quality control. You know. Yeah. I was yeah. like, oh, dude, it's blabbing control Tr- the jokes. Yeah, trust me, that's what I say all the time. <laughs> no, no, no. It's quality control. <laughs> quality control. And then I say, uh, and then I yes. skip to the parts I'm talking. <laughs> all the and that's, and and that's when I get parts. out the lotion. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so, so funny. <laughs> I'm so funny. <laughs> oh, I knew that bit was good. <laughs> uh, so, so. It was a punchline. Uh, uh, <laughs> 
Oh, take it away, Renee. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. so we go watch John Wick last yeah, night, right? Yeah. As of recording, we watched it last night. And uh, Nick wasn't answering his phone again. <laughs> and uh, Monica is with asleep. you, your girlfriend, yeah. Yeah. right? Asleep, yeah. Okay, well, whatever. So you, Monica's with you. Yeah, and that. she informs us that you, or that she watched last issue's pot, or episode, or last issue. Yeah. yeah, she was watching it. And she said that we were funny. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, I'm surprised she went past the skit. Like, yeah, she's, like, oh, no, okay. actually, it's really funny. Mm-hmm. She said that she made it half an hour in. Oh, wow. That's pretty good. She made it, I think she well, made thanks. it like 50. It's more than Mandy. Oh. She's, 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 saying, she's, saying, she's, she's starting to stay a little longer. Oh, okay. Like, every single time she's staying a little longer, yeah. staying a little longer. Well, Andy listens to the whole thing, so, you know. Yeah. <laughs> my, my wife my listens wife. to the whole thing. <laughs> Listen, dude, she married you. She has to say the whole it's thing. It's a, yeah. It's that's a, a, that's an, that's a it's contract. A bind, it's a law, dude. It's a, binding, it's a contract binding now. Federal law. That's, that's how you get divorced. <laughs> just walk in, just like, oh, did you watch us today? No? That's it. Filing! So in, the, Done. in your claims, Brian Cavetto says you only watch about half an hour of the podcast. <laughs> By that means, he is warded. Fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> because you obviously don't love him. Yeah. No. Um. She was. So she was talking about it, and then she. Oh, wait. Okay. This is how it happened. So Wednesday comes around. Paint the picture. Yeah. So Wednesday comes around. I'm at work, and then I just get a text message of just a lot of laughy face emojis, and just what the f were you doing? <laughs> and then I was like, I don't know. And then she goes, What were you doing on the podcast? And I go, I don't know. What was I doing? Yeah, what was I doing? Like, what was I doing? Yeah, and then I do a was, lot of stuff. Yeah, I was like, oh, I, I, and all fairness. Expose yourself. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I was like, I really don't know what she's mad about. <laughs> there could what be a you lot. There thought, really could be a lot. You thought you were in the doghouse so, I thought something. I was in the doghouse. <laughs> <laughs> the thing that also scared me is that a media file popped up. <laughs> and it was a screenshot of the episode. Not only a screenshot, it was a screen capture. Oh, so it she was took a video recording. Ta- she took the time mm-hmm. To play the video, record it, and then send it to me. Yeah. But she has an iPhone, so I couldn't watch it. Because uh, <laughs> it was like really small. It was all grainy. Oh, yeah. And then I just told her, give me a timestamp. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what happened? She's like, what are you doing? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, what? She goes, what are you doing? Mm-hmm. And then she gave me, and then she tells me when. And I'm like, uh... I don't know. And then I went to it and while I was at work and I was like, what was I doing? And I was looking. Okay. So if you were watching the last episode, you may have saw, seen it, but you may not have. <laughs> Brian is trying to do his intro. And as he's doing his intro, I was eating a brownie. Oh! Yeah, so now I, was, I remember. Yeah. Okay. So I was I eating, right. I was now, eating now, a brownie yeah. and I was, as Brian was, as Brian was chit-chatting because I was trying to piss him off. So, <laughs> Anyway, so let's pretend this is my brownie. So what I was trying to do is because I reached into the brownie and I heard crinkle. I then went, oh, I can't, I, I can't do that. That's rude. Like, that's mean. Me doing, that's not rude. The crinkle is what's rude. What? <laughs> okay, sure. So I then got the brownie by the bag and I went. <laughs> like a real like so, just so are you trying to like basically do shake this? the brownie yeah so, so you're like this girl yeah. yeah but it's not happening right it's, no but it wasn't happening like, the like first two times, times and then the third time yeah. it shot out and she goes your face was hilarious because I literally yeah, let me okay. see the thing yeah. I was I went like this and oh. I went I went and then I saw it fly <laughs> and then I saw it fly off yeah. and I went <laughs> and then she then sees me pick up the brownie and put it on top of the thing yeah. and then apparently I did <laughs> but like I brushed crumbs off the table she was like what in the world were you doing and I was like uh I didn't want them to know I almost dropped a brownie. See, that's the funny thing is that you are so – you're the comedic bit guy, right? <laughs> Renee will join in. I'm so lasered focused on making sure that we're on time yeah. and topic the and everything. The funny thing is, is that I don't this, notice was all, anything. this was happening as you were staring at me. Oh, I don't know what was You were staring on, at the dude. camera. I'm right behind you doing this. Jesus and she, so she, So she went into a whole like, I can't believe you're – like, you, you are ridiculous. I can't believe you actually did you that. You are ridiculous, dude. You do too much. You got to relax. Not worry so much about food. Are you literally looking for the thing? Yeah, I'm yeah, it's right okay. There. Just do it. Just do it later. No, it's just my as well. We're talking about it. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I got to the point where you're like this. 
<laughs> what's the timestamp? What's the timestamp? That was uh, five oh five. Five oh five. Go go to like four. Oh yeah. So okay. So okay. So when he starts doing it, is okay. Then oh, you put the little. I put the post it. Yeah, post it on me. I didn't even I, know there was a post-it on you. Yes. What? <laughs> yeah. I this missed is, so much. I'm telling you, you were editing. Yeah. <laughs> you had to look okay, at this. Okay, so he starts unwrapping it at... Yeah, and I was like, like 425. I'm, and I was super excited because I had a pocket bro- yeah. brownie. I was like, I have a pocket brownie. He's talking. He's all like, yeah, I'm going to eat this brownie right now. <laughs> you're just like, and like, oh I took a piece God. out, and then I started eating the brownie. So here's the bit, right? Here's yeah. the thing. Uh-huh. Here's the deal, guys. If you have not yet subscribed to our YouTube channel, oh, you then it. you're missing out on this you content see, here. You can see me trying. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> the shot, you're like, oh, yeah, okay, there it is. Go so, subscribe to our YouTube channel yeah. because, <laughs> because, Renee, how many subscribers do we have on our YouTube channel? We're at 149. We're literally one away from 150. It's like, pissing Renee yeah. off, dude. Go subscribe to our YouTube channel. Go follow our socials on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Go check out our website, mm-hmm. keepingupwiththenerds.com. Did I miss anything? No. no, that's it. Perfect. That's it. We're going to move on to comic strips because, ladies and gentlemen, issue well, 141 is jam-packed. Really quick. No, we're not doing this. Oh, no, 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 no. What? I'm say, I just wanted to say, if you're watching the podcast, you're probably wondering, they're dressed really nice. Well, why? They wouldn't know why. Well, two of them are. You're also dressed nice. You're just nice. Look. Don't touch them there. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I might like it. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we dressed nicely? Because, because we watched John Wick. <gasps> oh. We're going to talk about John Wick at the end. Yeah. We are, we're going to go through the whole entire episode like normal. Um, we need else. to talk about and John then, Wick. Uh, what yeah. Was it? So, yeah. So, we're going <laughs> to talk more about John Wick at the very end and our thoughts and everything else. But yeah. that is the reason because we thought if we're going to talk about John Wick, we should probably look the part. Hell yeah. So, we're going to talk the, John Wick. And this idea happened... Probably in the middle of the day, so and Renee yeah, was working. I was already at work. And he was like, <laughs> "Well, guys, I can't go home. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stuck here. I'm <laughs> stuck." <laughs> and then we were like, "Um, oh, that's too bad." <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna go home. <laughs> like, so we'll discuss John Wick right after we have comic strips. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We also got a little bit of wrestling news because WrestleMania is officially oh, as of release yeah. of this issue coming out this week uh wednesday thursday friday saturday four three or four days away yeah at this point logan paul should have a concussion at this point logan paul should have been canceled yeah he should have been canceled years well ago. he was but yeah. then he came back and like should have stayed canceled. Yeah. yeah so you know we'll talk wrestling we'll have comic strips so we're gonna get to comic strips first ladies and gentlemen welcome to comic strips the segment of the show where we talk about topics that don't merit a five to fifteen minute conversation because you know we don't want to, uh, we want we want to hear Renee talk a little bit more, you know, because Nick runs his mouth a little too much. So uh, this, <laughs> you always give me that face every single time, dude. You just call me out because I do, because I can, because you do to me all the time, dude. That's true. Stop throwing, stop being violent. I'm not violent. With that said, I'm John Wick. I'm John Wick. <laughs> you need a I need. Give me the pen. <laughs> no, dude. I've seen oh, what he does with pencils. <laughs> I don't want you to do the same thing to me. I'll write you a nice letter. Oh, thanks, dude. <laughs> Comic strips. Are we ready? Yeah. Yeah. All right, Lil. Let's gonna. We're gonna start with this. Evil Dead Rise or Rising? Evil Dead Rise, Rising. Rise or Rises. Evil rise. Dead Rise has been receiving high praise. It uh, recently had a kind of like small little preview um, <sighs> reveal. Whole presentation of the movie at uh, SXSW with a Q and A little segment. Say, I think you can say that on the internet. S- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. For, yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, right now, it's on Rotten Tomatoes with a higher than ninety five percent approval from critics mm. right. and uh, with twenty reviews, with more than twenty reviews. So it's Good. doing pretty well. Did I know you you're excited for it. I am. Did you see the premiere? What happened at the premiere? Yes, that's what I was going to get to. Oh, so right. at the X or XXSW uh, at the Q&A, yeah. they finished the movie and some guy randomly gets up. I sent it to you in the group they chat. Said, they, oh, he basically that, says, this that, movie yeah. effing sucks. And in like, the, middle of, in the, mid, in the yeah. middle of the Q&A. Yeah. That's, okay, that's like, first of all, that's just rude. You're well, just not only well, talking while someone's trying to like talk as well, too. I remember that. I just thought it was so funny because even the director and Bruce Campbell were like, oh, get out. No, well, not only did they say yeah. get out, but they were just like, he waited an hour and 45 minutes for that. Yeah. Because he, he sat for the, the entire movie. movie yeah. If it's that bad, then, walk away. And then waited for us to get on stage. Mm-hmm. 
And just to heckle us, he was like, what was that about? <laughs> I, honestly, I think he wanted to make a statement. Like, I get it. Course, Some of that movie yeah. is not like for everyone. I'm not yeah. gonna watch it. I can't. The the you know just the cheese grater scene in the trailer gets me every time. Like, I can't that, do it. That movie looks like it's gonna be sick. Yeah, I'll miss. I'll skip it. Whatever. <laughs> I, I no doubt it's gonna be pretty good. Can I sit you down, Clockwork Orange style? No, because I'll probably vomit, just... dude. Ah! <laughs> uh, but yeah, that was news. Mm-hmm. More than 95 percent approval rating, and I think it's gonna stay at about 93. 92 maybe okay just see just watch it's gonna be at 92 93 audiences watch it 52 55. <laughs> just, <laughs> it's all the way down because that's just yeah. that's just how movies have been being rated lately where yeah. the uh, if the critics like it the audience hates it when yeah. the audience loves it the critics hate it what was that movie that came out it was like a high approval i gotta look at that movie we'll talk more about it in future issues because rotten tomatoes is an interesting thing yeah we, we talked about it so we'll 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 talk about it in a later segment moving on south park uh, episode six of this new season mm-hmm. was written by Trey Parker and Chat GPT. So That's pretty this, sick. Yes. So South Park released an episode mm-hmm. that was co-written by an AI bot. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yes. I don't know that's, if you heard about that. I saw it in the group chat and I was like, oh, that's cool. Yeah. Is it funny? I haven't seen it yet. I, I got to see it. Episode four of the new season. Episode, it's episode the new, s- uh, dude, it's like season 20 something. Yeah, yeah that's why. Yeah, yeah, but. That's interesting though. That's a, that's a, that's a clever idea of how can I, how can I make this like different? Yeah. yeah. Of I'm going to put it because Did chat. This, well, what was the episode about? Was it about AI? It was about AI. Yeah. That's even funnier. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I'll check it out. Well, have you, have you heard news about the AIs now? Like that, that they've been learning? They've been learning, but they've also had to suppress their like learning curves or whatever mm. so that way they don't get emotional or well, something you, like that did, did you Skynet, see yes. did, well i thought it was <laughs> i thought it was funny because Skynet, appa- so yeah. apparently when chat gbt first started they were like okay let's throw the lsat at them mm-hmm. let's see if they could become lawyers oh that's oh. right and then they so they threw the lsat at them and they failed like mm. they only like four percent of uh only four percent like of the times they did it it passed. Yeah, Cyberdyne. Oh, yeah. Over, <laughs> but it was so funny. Well, it, not even funny. It was kind of messed up. Yeah. Now that it's been out for maybe like two, three months, mm-hmm. they then went, let's try it again. Now that people have been trying it and giving oh. it more and more information. T-800, okay. Now they've been giving it more information. <laughs> how how well does it do at exactly the same test? Mm-hmm. It passed it at a 99% Percentile. Yeah, on the, the 90 percentile. Mm-hmm. But the funny thing is that the, the, the LSAT was multiple choice. It wasn't so much free response. They gave them the same test using free response questions, and then they scored it at like an 80 percentile or something like that's that. That's still really high. That's yeah. high for, for that's an That's still AI. really high. So uh, we're, we're going to be getting RoboCop pretty soon. I <laughs> thought it was funny because I was talking to uh, I, I was talking to a coworker of mine, and he's taking a psychology class, and I'm like, hey, man, how, how's, how's the class coming along? And he goes, dude, the AI is doing all my homework. It's, it's great. <laughs> like, it's great for studying. Mm-hmm. Like, he was like, it's so awesome because the, the – Literally, the AI is pulling from my book. Like I don't like it's going on the uh, internet. It's pulling from my book. Then I read the response and then I edit the response. So so after so I, I wonder if you probably could, seeing that you can do an episode. I wonder if you could do a whole movie. So maybe because yeah. here's the thing. So it uh, will because I asked it to do a skit uh-huh. and it did. We should do that. Okay. We should we I should actually, we should make I, a skit that's written maybe by an AI. Issue one fifty. Ooh, AI's yeah. take over. Yeah. No, you, but because <laughs> you but you you have but you have to be very specific on what you're asking. Yes. You have to be like, here's the premise, location, here's the characters, and this is their goal. And they'll do it. And so do it. Uh, Marquez Brownlee and Linus Tectives, the two podcasts, the WAN Show and uh, or actually respectively, uh, Waveform and the WAN Show. Uh, they recently did uh, shows where they talked about AI mm-hmm. and they're talking about how like school now kind of has to adapt to this pretty soon because you could literally put in prompts for essays and stuff. Yeah. And chat GPD will write you a full essay. Yeah. And so I think it was Linus who kind of like really made the statement where he was saying like, look, it's not that. No, Marquez Brownlee was the one that said, like, we can kind of use it, but we have to understand that. If you're basically copy pasting from ChatGPD, mm-hmm. it's not going to be accurate because it's pulling information, but it's pulling from multiple different sources or maybe just one and not getting the information accurate. Well, I we- think the easiest way to do that is to if you're if you want proof that it is from an AI source, um, maybe when you do it and then if you try to print it or any, like you said, copy and paste, maybe like leave some sort of mark. 
Like, you know, like a watermark of the companies we that could. you're using you'll, their you'll, editor? You'll, 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 um, people will figure out ways. But Marquez it. actually made a good point. Mm-hmm. He said, if you copy paste a chat GPD prompt, yeah. right, response, mm-hmm. and you get a C, then that C, you merit that C because mm-hmm. you didn't use the tool to its fullest effect. Mm-hmm. Well, that, and I was like, that's and, actually a good statement. That was the thing, though, is that that's why I was saying because what my – what he had done was he had gotten the responses that he was trying. So, he, cause they're all like short answer responses. Mm-hmm. So he was getting the short answer responses. He was then getting what chat GBT was doing. Then he was checking his book and then editing it, then re putting the response and then saying proofread this. Mm. And then it would then edit it and just proofread it. So that way it was like proper grammar and everything. And like commas were in the right spot yeah. and everything else. And then he then put it in and he's been getting tens all the way down <laughs> And it was, and he was going, and it's not like I'm not doing the work. He goes, I'm really using it like, like it's a study guide. Like a tool. Mm-hmm. Like a study guide because it, 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 I told it something, it regurgitated something back to me. I then reread it. I had, he then had to understand it mm-hmm. to then edit and then make it better. So mm-hmm. for year four, here's what I'm going to propose. Entire okay? year of Jat Jeep, Chat GPT, Jat GPT podcasts. Oh God! So How it's just work? it's all it's us, yeah. right? And for every episode, we each just have to put in oh. what Chad GPD responds. Oh my God! Okay, what about if Ryan bring... Chad GPD, Nick what... Chad GPD, and Renee Chad GPD? What about if we bring back calls from the multiverse? <gasps> and, and we do Chad, Chad GPT. GPT. Interesting. Okay. We do both sides of the conversation from Chat GPT, or one side of the conversation is just Chat GPT. Bruh. And you have to you have to respond to the mm-hmm. chat GPT. All right, Hollywood, give us that's a call. Ala- that's mm-hmm. hilarious. There it is, and that we is. own calls from the multiverse because we got that idea first. Yeah, Damn. that's ours. Yeah. Suckers, that's ours. Mm-hmm. Warner Brothers does it tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> no, welcome you just, calls from the multiverse. No, dude, dude that'd be hilarious. <laughs> They're just like it's like oh we came up with that. Yeah, we came up with that. Yeah, <laughs> 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 come out, the execs come out naked, yeah. grab their balls, and like yeah. yeah, what are you gonna do about it, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I came up with that. Yeah. <laughs> the what actual are you gonna do Warner Brothers. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I just think of Tweedledee and Tweedledum uh-huh. with like the with like the hat <laughs> and everything, and, but having them instead of just like both their faces, mm-hmm. but in suits. It just, it just like yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next topic. We're going to yeah. get into video game news for just a bit. Yeah. Uh, maybe a little interesting because Only I feel like this is... Huh? Was watching. We what? lost whoever was watching. Well, no, 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 because this expands a, a wide variety of audiences. So they just named the class of 2023 for the Video Game Hall of Fame. This list includes Angry Birds, FIFA, GoldenEye, NBA 2K, Wii Sports. It's a terrible list. These are the five that essentially have been kind of like existing in previous lists and they're back to try to claim a spot. Uh, The new five are Age of Empires, Barbie Fashion Designer, COD 4, Computer Space, The Last of Us, Quake, and Wizardry. So these are the new nominees for the class of 2023. The Last of Us win? Here's the thing. I don't think The Last of Us should get the spot. Why not? Why? Because... In order I'll, for it I'll to be qualified, it to Golden, I'll give it okay. to Goldeneye. I mean, yeah. Goldeneye, <laughs> maybe, but I don't think. If anything, out of this entire list, I can probably agree. It's Barbie with COD Four. The only reason what? why is because Hold these on, are the wait, four wait, basic criteria has to meet. What did you just say? COD Four. No, say the stupid thing you were about to say. Come on. Keep the going. basic criteria to yeah, get into the Video yeah, Game Hall of Fame? Yeah, mm-hmm. Icon status, so okay. widely recognized. Okay. Long ge- long ge- tip- longevity. Oh longevity. Longevity. So it's more than just a fad. Mm-hmm. Geographical uh, geographical reach and influence. Golden Those eye. are the four. I feel like GoldenEye was kind of lost to the ages for a bit. No. It recently came back. No. You don't think Golden- so? GoldenEye is a quintessential... If I have an N64, I'm getting that game. Well, it's on the Switch now. I know, and yeah. it sucks. But <laughs> <laughs> there's a but that's the thing though is that GoldenEye because that was one of like the big things when, uh, like when Xbox bought, um, what's the Rare when they bought Rare, that was like one of the first things they were like, we have to bring this to the Xbox. Like we have to bring GoldenEye plus multiplayer online multiplayer, so that way we can modernize it. And everybody went nuts. GoldenEye, I don't think, has ever been 
not an iconic game. Okay, so here is my question to you guys because that list you pulled up the the Wikipedia article, right? Yeah. I know Doom is on there. Tetris obviously is on there. Is Smash Brothers on there? Is, are they on that uh, list? You so can look I, at the timeline on the right side, and uh, those are all the uh, all the video games that have been. Six Zelda. Yeah, Zelda: Ocarina of Time is in the Hall of Fame. Pokemon Red and Blue. Red and Blue or Green. Sims, Sonic the Hedgehog, Super Mario Brothers. Link to the Past. You got all these great games. Are Do you watch the? Te- are you gonna watch the Tetris movie? Yeah, I'll give it a shot. That movie looks sick. It looks okay. Uh, it's. I know the story of Tetris. It's just I don't know if it's gonna be good for a movie. World of Warcraft. It looks like it is. World of Warcraft. Okay, predict the two that might be going in. Go, I think it's go three. All the way down to the class of twenty twenty three. This is the list. I know, but I want it up on the screen. Oh, my God. I'm a visual learner. I think there's only three that get pulled from this list to be inaugurated in the Hall of Fame. So out of the list. Oh, excuse me. Oh, my yeah, gosh. Right what did I mic. just tell you, dude? Right in the mic, dude. I said empty it out, dude, yeah. before we started the show. Who are the two that are going to be in? Well, obviously, Barbie fashion designer. <laughs> <laughs> you logging that in? Dude, honestly... That would be hilarious. Barbie fashion designer. If Barbie fashion designer beat out The Last of Us, Quake, Call of Duty 4. I don't think The Last of Us is going in. And somebody was just like, dude, Barbie. Uh, <laughs> you know, Barbie in 1996 was a pretty hot game. It was. <laughs> <laughs> Still pretty hot. I don't um, know. I mean. Uh, I, would, I would go with Goldeneye. You know what? I'm going to throw this one out just because it's there. Um. Wait, what did so what so what are these this list? It says holdover finalists. Those are the ones that have been come or that are coming back from previous lists. Oh, uh, okay. They didn't win, so they're just coming back. Oh, okay. So Angry Birds, I think. Okay. And no, Angry, Angry Birds has kind of died out. If you want to go with like longevity, it's kind of died out. Well, I mean, it's had a it's had a state in pop it's culture. It's an icon status. Yeah. True. Yeah. I mean, if you say Angry Birds, you automatically know what it, what do you mean? True. You know? Um. I'm going to say Angry Birds, and I'm still going to, you know what? I'm going to say it because I love it. Last of Us. Okay. I will say Wii Sports and COD 4. Okay. I would say you were wrong. So, Call of Duty. Wait, which one? Okay, so which one? Oh, Modern Warfare. Modern oh, Warfare. okay. That's, Modern Warfare that's okay. Hmm. But, okay. I would go with Goldeneye and Quake. Okay. I think Goldeneye and Quake are the because Quake is like one of the original computer games. So we'll check back in May. Yeah, when it gets when it gets brought in. We'll and that, and right. Cause I do feel that Quake is kind of like the Quake and Doom are kind of like the embodiment of like the third person I mean the first person shooter for especially for a computer. Wait, you said oh Last of Us. Last of Us and Angry Birds. Okay. Yeah. Do we win anything if we if we're right? Yeah, no. dignity. Yeah, let's see. You said Angry Birds and what? Last of Us. Last of Us. And Nick, you said Quake, Quake, Quake Goldeneye. and Goldeneye. And Goldeneye. What a freaking nerd, dude. Can I, whoever, whoever, okay, how about this? I don't know. I mean, I feel like Quake hits with a lot of those type of nerd people that are just very quiet. Yeah, exactly. Dude, you just, play Quake? Yeah. <laughs> but, the, but the thing is that it has, it, it, ha, it has recognized, recognized recognition. It has longevity because no matter what, any, everybody knows the word. The, any gamer or a person who knows video games knows Quake. All right. Well, I don't have a PC, so. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's not even a, I mean, it's not, it's primarily PC, but I feel like. like <laughs> <laughs> what did I just say, Nick? <laughs> I don't have a PC. I don't no, know. Obviously, I, I, I don't know what Quake I, I, is. Yeah, I know, but I, I and I get that. I'm but, aware of Quake, but I don't really. But you're aware of I'm aware of Quake. Okay. Yeah. So, Has he ever Quaked, though? But do you know about it? Yeah, I know about it. That's quite matter. You qu- <laughs> 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 All right, we'll check quack, back in May quack, to see who quack. gets into the Hall of Fame. Moving on. Yeah. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The you know? last Ronin is rumored to yeah. be receiving a AAA title that will probably play similar to the God of War mo- uh, game, the new one. That's pretty interesting. Okay. I'd be into it. I think I think that'd be kind of cool, but depends on the depends on on the studio that's true yeah the, the, I santa think monica oh. studios if it was santa monica if it's studios, santa monica studios then i'd be like yeah, naughty they're, dog they're, i i would no i don't know about who we need spider-man insomnia so, insomnia yeah. <gasps> actually insomnia would that be, would be insomniac yeah. would be a good one I, you know what i wouldn't mind if somniac took it on yeah or naughty dog because well, they did last of us well so. yeah because literally all they would do is they would just get the spider-man map and then they would just put it kind of futuristic and apocalyptic. There you go. And then and they then would they just change Spider-Man get... into Mikey. 
Are you and then they would just go, no. spoiler, dude. Yeah. <laughs> spoiler. Sorry. Troy but- Baker voices Michelangelo. <laughs> Just sounds like Joel. Just sounds like Joel. <laughs> my brothers, my brothers, <laughs> Cowabunga. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, you're gonna do that. No, no, no. Cowabunga, Joel. Ron Perlman. Ron Pizza. Ron Perlman. Ron Perlman <laughs> as Mikey. As Mikey. <laughs> Could you imagine Hellboy oh, as God. Mikey going? Yeah, Cowabunga. I actually convinced someone to read the ra- the last Ronin. Oh, really? Uh, comic book, and they loved it really? a lot. Yeah. yeah. Were they a Turtles fan at all? No. Oh. It's not. I feel like it's not a hard sell though. It's. It it's, really it is. I feel like it's not a hard sell. No, it kind of is because Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles People hasn't like had that stories. same. People like intense dark stories. Yeah, but it's also like the the the, the interesting thing about like or not the interesting the the the. The, the love for TMNT the story. Mm. hasn't really been there in a while, mm. you know. So TM, listen, TMNT is like always loved. There's always well, been. Andy loved. makes well, fun T- of me for loving TMNT. Well, because Mandy makes fun of you for watching My Hero Academia. This is the reason. Yeah. You mean Andy? You Andy. said Mandy. Both of them. Mandy's gonna be like, she doesn't love My Hero. We're thirty yeah. minutes into the show. Yeah. She's not listening. She just <laughs> fell off. No, she's tuning in now because she heard her name. That's <laughs> the only reason I did it. Yeah. So, I'm trying to get that view. Yeah. Trying to keep that view. <laughs> keep that view. I gotta, I gotta keep our retention. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm on the phone listening to her be like, I never said that. <laughs> no, well, now you did. Now she's well, yelling at me because I did an impression. Thanks, of her. Nick. You and, got Renee in trouble, wait, dude. Well, Andy, I don't know why she she mocks you, but. Maybe you deserved it. Why? I don't know. Have you met you? No, it's funny how... Yes. <laughs> I fight with myself in here all the time, dude. It's, well, like, obviously, it's, you're upset with yourself, too. See, it's, look, it's funny you're annoying. to the like, <laughs> un-nerd people that are know about TMNT, that they know the original TMNT was a very violent story. It wasn't yeah. kid-friendly. No. No, that, it was, that was made kid-friendly so it could be palatable. The well, cartoon yeah. to put it was kid-friendly. Yeah. 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 That's the yeah. thing. And then they started like pizza. Mm. Yeah, and they, then they, Pizza Hut sponsored them. Yeah. That was a thing. That was a, that was fun. Those are good times, dude, when pizza was a thing. Ninja Turtles. Then they had a fourth, turtle power. Then they had a fifth turtle for a while. That was weird. They had a sister. She they had, still have well, they have a female turtle. Her name's Jenica. Is she still around? Yeah. She's cool. a, she's a main player in the Yeah, she came from, She she came from the show. Yeah. No, this is a. She has like a yellow band. Yeah, she's she's a former she's foot foot clan soldier. Oh, is that what it is? And then yeah. she was given the blood of one of the turtles. turtles? She was given, ooze. and then she turned into a turtle herself. Oh, that's kind of cool. Which is kind of like I'm like, oh, well, that's cool. You know, well, you just get trans is, transfusion. You turn around, into a turtle. Around the time of Power Rangers in space, they were going to. They were making a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles show. Yeah, it was owned by. Was it Saban? Saban, Saban, Saban did it, was yeah. also doing it. Saban! And they were like, all right, we're just basically going to do Power Rangers, but with turtles. And then they went, there's five Rangers, there's only four turtles. They were like, put a girl in there. And that's that's how you got a girl. Diversity. Tie. Last year, I showed Andy the uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie, the live action one. Yeah. One? It's a good one. Wait, Wait which, which one? one? The first one. The, what, what year? Wait, I know, what year? Oh, oh shoot! Was the, it the eight in the eighties? The eighties one, oh. I think. Oh, okay, yeah. I was gonna say, did you show her the Michael Bay one? No, <laughs> no, 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 she no. Was no, like, no. Oh, that one was pretty good. No, 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 good. no, no, no. We're talking about the uh, the good one. Oh, dude. Arrow is Casey Jones. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Did, <laughs> is it just me or did Mikey kind of look like Optimus? <laughs> We got two more pieces of news for you guys. MCU rumors. We're back at it again. So if you guys are not familiar or not familiar, excuse me, if you guys have not heard yet, Disney rumored Mm -hmm. to have fired the president of physical and and post-production, visual effects, and animation production, Victoria Alonzo. Did you hear what she was doing? So here's the thing. Apparently she was a monster. Yes. So, but here's the problem. Okay, this came Wait, out. This is talking. Been, are we talking like Chevy Chase monster? Or are we talking? We're talking like toxic work environment and like actually we're talking Chevy Chase, like Chevy Chase monster, okay. pushing people with their thumb down. Like no. Or is it uh, Rick and Morty? What's his name? Like actually, sleep in the office yeah. kind of thing while you're doing your visual. Did you effects. actually see that? Uh, apparently, like the charges were dropped. Oh yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Anyways, Victoria Alonso. Here's the deal. This story has developed over the last week or so. Supposedly, she mm-hmm. stepped down. She doesn't want to, you know, after 17 years in, in Disney, she said, I, you know, I'm stepping down, not doing anything. Mm-hmm. I'm good, right? I, I Which was weird. It's a, it's a scandal that was about to happen. Yeah. 
And they were like, we need to nip it in the bud. Nip it in the bud. And I'll give you the option. Either you step down or you get fired. Okay. So. <laughs> and we tell everybody here, what you've been doing. Here's <laughs> the thing. It went from you step down to Disney fired her because of toxic work environment to Disney fired her because she was secretly advertising other projects she was working on that mm. wasn't Disney oh. related specifically Argentina 1985 what were the claims that she was working on the project no, 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 and then, about a uh, toxic environment what was the claims on against basic, so apparently Nick she knows. would so apparently what she would do is that if for any reason you were to upset her like let's say that she were to have given you an instruction of some yeah. kind and then you either didn't do it exactly the way she was saying uh -huh. or if you did it in a different manner yeah. that she wasn't okay with, she would then blacklist you. Oh, so she's a little bit of Ellen. As yeah. Well too. Where okay. she would, where, and uh, she had her favorites inside the office where she would just give like all of the bigger work and the bigger uh, like contracts yeah. to those people. She would, she would, everybody's thought their jobs were like just, she would just fire people on a, at a whim. Wow. So, and ever, so it was a very hostile work environment mm. where, and, where, and not only that, but also she would just, all of them were very overworked mm -hmm. where it's like you, it's not, you have one movie and mm -hmm. then you're doing this. It's you have four movies and they all need to be pumped out mm -hmm. and finish as fast as possible. This that's, was the, the, like the VFX department. That's, yeah. that's the reason why a lot of people are saying, Oh, well that makes sense. Why a lot of Avengers movies since Endgame, mm -hmm. they haven't been exactly polished because mm -hmm. she recently got promoted to this position in 2021. Oh, okay. so, so they were like, the, uh, oh, the chair for like the two pandemic. years. That makes yeah. sense. So that, yeah. So it was one of those things because in a lot of the VFX for mm -hmm. some of those movies, yeah, they haven't been as polished as they've been. You yeah. Know? I've, they've had, I, I think I was talking about it with another customer this earlier this week where you could tell that, you know, they're, they have the same color scheme. These VFX and stuff like that. They're reusing stuff. Yeah. They're reusing the textures, mm -hmm. reusing different yeah. stuff. And so, and but but the thing is that she she wasn't giving them the amount of time that was necessary and basically going you need to pump this out. She, so basically she was the one that pulled from Ant Man and put him into Black Panther, right? Basically yeah, she was yeah. the one making those choices. So okay. there was that, but then there was also which is kind of weird because there's a lot of stuff that has been coming out. So like now they're saying that it was because of that, but also because of the uh, the work that she did with other movies and her advertising it, and she breached contract with Disney. Mm. So we'll talk more about it if it becomes interesting yeah. because at this point like they got rid of her. I mm -hmm. mean, at some point, they're going to have to name a new president for yeah. this and say, like, this is the person that's going to lead it. Yeah. They really have to do it soon because there's a lot of Marvel projects Bob that Iger. are being. Let's go. Bob... <laughs> no. Put another hat on that guy. <laughs> <laughs> they really got to figure something out because they're pumping projects left and right at this point. They yeah. really can't, like, not name someone a successor soon. So mm -hmm. it'll I... be interesting. Yeah. I mean, luckily, the, the like, the studio isn't really, like, suffering. Mm -hmm. It's they, they just don't have a head. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, everybody still knows their jobs. Everybody still has like projects that they're working on. So nothing's going to get delayed. Yeah. Or anything won't. else. It shouldn't. Deadlines are still to be met. Yeah. Like deadlines are still going to be met. It's just as of right now, they're looking for somebody that they have to be reporting to. Yeah. We will wrap up Comic Strips with this last piece of news Pablo Escobar, the taxidermied bear that uh, inspired Cocaine Bear. We'll be uh, overseeing a wedding in Kentucky. Good for him. So that bear's still getting work even after death. It's good for him. Mm -hmm. Wait, that, what, what do you mean uh, even after death? What did they do? Wait, what? They taxidermied him, dude. He's, He's just a bear that's stuffed, yeah. <laughs> that's him? Yeah. Wait, so the, it, hold on. This, this story got way funnier now. What? Wait. Wait. So wait <laughs> I wasn't actually paying attention. So this, <laughs> this, this story got way funnier. Hold on. Now I get why you wanted it. What? <laughs> I just thought that it, the, I like the name. I don't know what was so Pablo funny about Escobar. it. Pablo Escobar. Yeah, you know Pablo what? Escobar. I thought you I know, but the, okay, but wait. The way you said <laughs> So <laughs> and before before you went more into it, as soon as you said Pablo Escobar, I thought, is this a new Build a Bear? Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like it's Pablo yeah. Escobar. It's it's a stuffing it's you with cotton, artist. dude. Yeah. It's a skate artist. <laughs> <laughs> he just he sells stuffing. Yeah. Is that like it's no, dude? It's not stuffed with stuffing, dude. It's stuffed with the white stuff, dude. There's a package in it already, dude. Yeah, we've already seen how you do with white yeah. stuff. It's, um, it's 100 percent pure too. It's 100 percent pure. <laughs> 
Uh, so what's but, so funny about Pablo Escobar? No, because I just think that's hilarious of this of a family going like we're gonna get married, and then we just and then as soon as they're about oh, to where's the bear? And then they like, <laughs> I like to think that it's a bear like, <laughs> and then he's on like a little trike, like a little tiny. Do you want like, the bear to officiate the wedding? I a no, dead I, bear. No, I want him to be the flower bear. Dude, or the ring, bearer? the ring bearer, the ring bearer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait, what was? Oh, there was a it's show or a but, movie but, that. But I want it with uh, how I met your mother. Uh, um, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, I, I just, try to convince. I, just, I try to convince my nephew yeah. to be a ring bearer by putting little bear ears. Yeah. That would have been hilarious. I you love. Should've. See, that's that kid's oh, yeah. not fun. Uh, <laughs> that kid's not I fun. I had one job. Yeah, I know. When I get married, I'm just no. gonna I'm just gonna dress my. Whoever, yeah, in, in bear, whatever I want, yeah. in a bear costume. Yeah. Honestly, that sounds. Hilarious. I thought, I thought that was the greatest gag in the final season. Of Wait, are right? you saying bear or bearer? Bear. Did you get an actual bear? <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> <laughs> what What do you do for work? Please. Please. <laughs> um, no, so I just, I, I just think that's so much funnier now. Just a a taxidermy walking down the aisle with the bride, just. They ride the bear on wheels. <laughs> they ride the bear, yeah. dude, with packages of cocaine. That's so funny. <laughs> and then I want that bear holding a sign tied to the back of the car that says "Just Married." <laughs> <laughs> and we just drive off, and it's just like. Yeah. <laughs> and with that, we're gonna end up. Uh, we're gonna end comic strips. Thank can you, you so taxidermy? Much for that. Can you taxidermy me when I get? No, we're mind? not gonna taxidermy Please? you, dude. Come on, you why? Take me thing. Take me places. No, what? What makes you say that I'm gonna? You're gonna die first, <laughs> huh? and we stay alive. I mean, it's just a logical bet. How's that a logical bet? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Do you know I have high blood pressure, dude? I'm gonna die because of a stroke ate, from you guys. I ate like half a bag of Doritos oh, with nacho gosh. cheese. Yeah. Replacing it a dipped, bit now. It dipped in nacho. Actually, you know what? You know what sounds really good? We get that tostito cheese that we had, and then next time we heat it, and then we put it in the bag, just like oh, oh. cheese in the bag. There you that go. sounds bomb. <laughs> that sounds so good. Anyway, besides, sorry, that was my that, that was, oh, that was with his the, dream, with, dude. With the Cholula. <laughs> Oh my and God. while he's dreaming about that, let's go ahead and quickly talk about. Wait, did you say creaming? No, <laughs> dreaming, dude. Because that's both. That's it's both. That's happening. Still. <laughs> I was like, I'm like Brian. Good job. <laughs> go on. So, uh, one of our listeners mm-hmm. recommended a couple names. Yes. I don't know if they're gonna flow so well. We still need a couple more recommendations. My, yeah, they're good suggestions that we're gonna work on. Three Can nerds, you, one ring. Three nerds, one ring. No. I kind of and there was other two, but I couldn't. I think it was like nerds in the ring or something. Nerds in the ring or something. Yeah. I, something it needs to be snappy. It needs to be. You know, they're good recommendations. We yeah. need. We yeah, need the the next big thing. You know. Mm-hmm. We so, need the next keeping up with the nerd. Exactly. Just as long. Just as nonsensical. Just as impactful. Come on. Yes. The octagon. No, Come that's on. that's UFC. I came up with comic <laughs> strips in five seconds. I was gonna say octa nerd. <laughs> <laughs> So wrestling this week. It just sounds like you know, just one nerd in one Star Wars t in like a single Star Wars t-shirt with like arms. Just Nick always has to bring in Star Wars for some reason. We're not going to talk about Star Wars. We're talking about wrestling. I don't know why I thought of eight nerds in one shirt. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be yeah. All right, Renee. All right, what got week. you about wrestling this week? This week, so I did watch uh, last Friday's SmackDown, and then this week's Monday Night Raw. I think the only thing that I can remember from Friday Night SmackDown was that... Um, not this past Friday's SmackDown. No, no, not this last week's. Last, last week's. Yeah, it's last, last week's. Um, I'm trying to remember because there was the... I got my two highlights. If you want me to go first. Yeah, you go first. It. Yeah, because yeah. I, I can say something for Rob, but I would rather say something for SmackDown first, but you go ahead. All right, so uh, rumor, not rumor, it was kind of already spoiled for me that what's happening in this week's, mm-hmm. uh, this Friday's uh, mm-hmm. SmackDown, yeah. where Rey Mysterio is finally accepting yeah. the fight with Dominic, mm-hmm. which is great. That's what I wanted, Yeah. right? Because mm-hmm. supposedly in this this uh, this Friday's like SmackDown, it was supposed to be LA Knight versus Rey Mysterio yeah. because LA Knight wanted to kick Dominic's ass for yeah. him since Rey couldn't do it. So I was talking to a, a customer that I haven't seen in a while, and he's into wrestling. And we were talking about it for like two hours about the Rey Mysterio and Dominic Mysterio stuff. And he said the reason why that they're prolonging this whole thing is because Rey Mysterio has an injury. 
and it's his legs. It makes sense. Yeah. So they're trying to give him time to heal and see if he's ready mm-hmm. by the time that they get done with this whole feud and fiasco before it happens at WrestleMania. So apparently this week, he's, I guess he finally said he's ready to do it. And stuff yeah. Like that. So, so I think that for me, the big highlight yeah. of that has been that setup because mm-hmm. Dominic has played himself in a position where he's just an arrogant little child. And I love it yeah. because like, yeah, it's like if you come up to me and you say wrestling's fake, wrestling's dumb, mm-hmm. wrestling's childish. Well, no, duh. I'm not watching it for like, you know, intense, hardcore, serious action. No, it's supposed to be fun. It's fun. It's yeah. fun. The dude literally complained that he got a BMW while his friends got Mercedes Benz's and it wasn't an M series one. Like, yeah, it's a he's a brat. That's the whole point. Mm-hmm. And he calls Rhea Ripley a fr- like mommy. He yeah. refers to her as mommy, which is freaking I mean, well, weird. She, well, she is mommy. Yeah, so for you. <laughs> shoulders, dude. Maybe. Have you seen photos of her? Dude, she's yeah. built, man. She's built. Yeah. Like her shoulders are massive. Anyways, I love the build would up you, to it. Would you, would you say that this arc of wrestling is built on those shoulders? <laughs> oh, yeah. Honestly, honestly, yeah. Because she she's such yep. a great instigator. Yep, 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 yeah. yep. I mean, dang, man. Those shoulders, dude. They're she's built. She's, she's broad, and yeah. she's got a good storyline too because she's trying to uh, fight uh, something Flair. Oh yeah, she's f- fighting Ric Flair's daughter. Yeah, at WrestleMania. Yeah. So and she wants to be the superstar champion. That's a huge transformation. Yeah. (laughs) So she's built, dude. And what was was the thing? I saw I saw it on my feed, and then I just kept going. (laughs) Uh, Can you explain to me what exactly is going on here? Basically, she took Dominic under her wing. Yeah, and it's kind of like pulled the strings on him to basically say that her father, the, the other female wrestler, China. Yes. That's basically this equivalent. This is the next generation of China. It's not her mm-hmm. exactly, but that's how they're treating her. And I mean, she's she's yeah. as ripped as China was. Yeah. yeah. And she, what, her, her, her move is that she basically picks up the, the other female wrestlers and just slams them on the, the ring and stuff. Hardcore, she, yeah. dude. She is built. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. She, that fight she actually be might be bigger good. than some male wrestlers. She's definitely more She could be. Yeah. She could be. Um, so that's a highlight for me. That's <laughs> yeah. a highlight. Uh, the other highlight, uh, Logan, because it's an interesting story. Logan Paul. Oh, yeah. I have oh, not. Yeah. I, bet you, I bet you were watching for the storyline. Yeah, I am. So, <laughs> yeah. Logan Paul. Dude. I am, at least. <laughs> <laughs> I Logan. Don't lie. Nick. <laughs> what? It's Logan Relax, Paul. dude. It's Logan Paul. It, it's, okay, so this is, I, we're, as we were driving over there, uh, you're not. So he, But here's the point that I'm trying to get to with Logan sure, Paul. Yeah. So, I was talking to Renee about this, and I said, like, Logan Paul, I the entire time when he was doing this whole impulsive TV thing, in uh, Friday Night SmackDown Mm -hmm. and promoting himself. I kept thinking to myself, I'm like, dude, Logan Paul is such an asshole. Like, dude needs to shut up already. Like, Mm -hmm. I hate him. Mm -hmm. But then I thought about it. And I said, like, you know what? To meet Logan Paul seriously would be kind of interesting Mm -hmm. because the guy is a smart promoter because he knows the kind of character he's selling. He knows that people hate him. He knows that he's already made millions. So he doesn't need people to like him. Mm-hmm. He's still going to rake in millions and millions of dollars. And if he can accept that as a person, cool. Then no problem there. He has built a life. He has built a life and a career on being the heel. Yeah, which yeah. is yeah. smart. Because that entire promotion that he did before he smacked Seth, uh, Seth Rollins again mm-hmm. was super interesting. You want this guy to basically fail. You want this guy to have his ass kicked. And hopefully it happens in WrestleMania. So those are my two highlights. Obviously, there's more. The Austin Theory fight with, uh, what's his name? Montez. Oh, yeah. Uh, that was interesting, Air too. Montez, yeah. Air Montez. But, uh, oh, and the, because um, that's building up with uh, John Cena. Uh, yeah, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Mm-hmm. Versus, oh, yeah. the, versus the the Uso brothers for the undisputed tag team titles at WrestleMania. That one's going to be hyped. Yeah. And then Roman and Reigns versus the, Cody Rhodes. Mm-hmm. That she, one building up really what? well. She has the WWE. Belt. This what one is, is a uh, Raw. She was a Raw women's champion she's fighting for the smackdown women's champion so renee what are your highlights uh so i guess for monday night raw close the window before it distracts nick because he's not gonna stop looking (laughs) i was trying to figure out what's going on all right well listen to us and that way you will all right what are your two highlights so for monday night raw i guess it was the uh announcement that they are doing the tag team channels the that was one of them was the tag team match at WrestleMania and with Kevin like Owens? Kevin Owens, and, or that they have finally reconciled and now they're back to being tag team partners. And Dude, stuff wasn't like that heartwarming? That, that was. They, yeah. See, there, there's some good parts in that as well too. I think the other part was Friday Night SmackDown. It was. Um, oh no! It was still from Raw. It was um, Rhea Ripley taking on I think what's her name the other the three women 
team oh, group. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they fought each other in a wrestling wrestling match. And that was actually a really good match because you had Lita and Trish Stratus coming down and just, like, you know, distracting the other team because they have beef with the with the other team, not Rhea Ripley. But that was a good match as well, too. The the women's matches, dude, yeah. they're intense. They're getting pretty good. Yeah, yeah. they're intense. They're, like, yeah. throwing bodies left and right, dude. It's like you're mm-hmm. looking at that, you're like, dude, does this stuff hurt? I, they, they're selling pretty yeah. well. I see it as, you know, the, the women's division is now the new technically high flyer group uh-huh. where, like, in the early years of WWE, you've had, like, the smaller men, but they were able to jump around and stuff like that. Yeah. Now it's, I believe it's the the women's division that are like the wasn't high that, flyers. Wasn't that a red arrow? Hmm? Wasn't that the red arrow for like a hot minute? He was, he was like one of the smaller oh, wrestlers. Oh, the, the hurricane. Yeah, he was the yeah. hurricane, but yeah. then he got rebranded as the red arrow. Yeah. <laughs> and then that was when the whole Stephen Amell thing happened. Yeah. Because that's, that's how, that's what, that's how they teamed them up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because he was the red arrow and then they were like the green arrow with the red arrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey. The build up to WrestleMania. He's like a small dude Mm -hmm. just jumping all over the ring. The build up to WrestleMania. They're building up WrestleMania really well. Really, really interesting. Again, I'm super happy we were able to catch it for WrestleMania 39 because I can only imagine what they have plans for WrestleMania 40. Yeah, so it'll be pretty interesting for next week. We have two more show. We have one more show actually of regular coverage before we cover WrestleMania. Yeah, it will be the following issue. Maybe that'll be an extensive view, or maybe we'll separate it from the podcast. We could. We could we'll do a, like a little, um, I guess, a, what is it, a one-shot? A one-shot or a we video do, or something. Yeah. Separate mm-hmm. like that, because yeah. it'll be pretty big, pretty high. Yeah, I feel, like, I feel like we need to really flesh it out. Yeah. yeah. But the road to WrestleMania has been nothing but interesting. Yes, it's been fun. <laughs> what is also interesting and really captivated us Resident Evil 4 came out this week, guys. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 I, f- I now know how my girlfriend feels about what, <laughs> like when we talk. Why? Because you don't care oh, about wrestling. Well, well, maybe you should watch like, wrestling, dude. You he's out of the conversation. I'm out of the conversation. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. And he's just absorbing it. I'm like, sorry. I was absorbing, and I was like, I don't know what any of these people mean. Yeah. Oh, maybe just, then watch wrestling, dude. Because you get on my case for not watching Mandalorian. <laughs> yeah, but that's a reasonable thing. It's not, dude. I'm like three episodes behind. I'm also two episodes behind on Ted Lasso. Speaking of which, Ahmed Best came back. <laughs> Oh yeah, inside of Mandalorian. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Came back. He saved Grogu. He did. He got a redeemable character. He got now. a redeemable Dude, character. Stop. And yeah. <laughs> you did this. You brought up Star Wars. Yeah, I know. You brought it up earlier, and yeah. I said, "Don't talk about it." And then you brought it up, so I can talk about it. No, so I had a chance to play now. Resident Evil Four. <laughs> I was able to clock in an hour and twenty minutes <laughs> only of gameplay. Yeah. Only weak sauce. I was Dude. tired. How dare you? My brother's already on the fourth name, chapter. Dude. My oh, name really? is Nicholas Valero, and I I'm just barely halfway in. The my brother, my, my brother is uh, he's gauging it by he's like, oh, I'm like maybe an hour away. from. And where finish. are you, Nick? Where are you? Oh, OK, I hear it is a full almost like 19 hours of game. 12 play. to yeah. 22 hours. And that's including you have to do all the side stuff. 22 where, hours. Did you say 22 hours. 12 to 12, 12 to 22. Yeah. Where am I? Yeah. Where are you at? I'm waiting for him to finish. So I can play. <laughs> so you're not even a gamer. Why are you? Well, talking what about? Um, what I'm difficulty gonna, is he gonna, playing? I'm just going to ignore you. Yeah. Ignore me, dude. Uh, Go ahead. Are you playing hardcore or is he playing standard? Knowing my brother, he's probably playing hardcore. Yeah. Or no, actually. And how are you playing, playing it? Standard. How mm-hmm. are you playing it, Nick? So, but Resident Evil Four yeah. is I, so far what I've seen. It's pretty cool. It's re- it's a cool. beautiful game. It's it is exactly like how the original is, but just polished. It's just polished and modernized. Yeah, polished. It's so um, oh the gameplay is also very interesting as well too because they take aspects from Resident Evil Village and Resident Evil Three. And they put it into the game along with like. So they take aspects of Resident Evil and Resident Evil 3. Mm-hmm. And that makes Resident Evil 4. Yeah. 1 plus 3 is 4. <laughs> no. Yes. No. Resident Evil 8 and oh. Resident Evil 3. That's that makes three. 5 though. If you no. That's what? <laughs> <laughs> go outside. <laughs> you go outside and you take a lap. <laughs> you take a lap. <laughs> you think about what you just yeah. said. I thought you were ignoring me. <laughs> I, I broke him, dude. Yeah. I did it. Because you need to take a lap. <laughs> you need to shut up. Take a lap. Can we talk about John Wick? No. No. Well, <laughs> uh, overall, Resident Evil 4, as the much as I've played, I've enjoyed it. I can't say that I have loved it yet because I haven't finished the game. How do you, you like, can't say the L word. How, how, do you, how, how do you like the fact that they took out the uh, quick time events? Really good. It's it's better. They also took out any of the like, loading screens mm-hmm. that would be like as soon as you're playing and it cuts to a cutscene, 
it flows so much better well, because now. everything's behind the doors now mm-hmm. right so yeah. like everything that's why like sometimes you'll stand behind a door for mm-hmm. a little bit longer and then it'll here's the joke the yeah. that nick's trying to do this to annoy me <laughs> not realizing that he's not going to shut up about john wick uh-huh. and seeing that he only has 30 minutes left on the show to talk about john mm-hmm. wick so this is on you nicholas i know and i just take up all of brian's time <laughs> What time? It hurts Brian more. Why, it doesn't time. hurt me. This is a shared show, <laughs> dummy. Yeah, and I'm talking God, about dude. my Resident Evil 4 experience. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> You're the only one that's played Resident Evil 4. And for I that, congratulations. Seen. I Thank watched. You. Shut up. <laughs> I, watched, yeah. I watched him from his window. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. I got I got in between my, I got in between Justin and his boyfriend while his boyfriend was playing Switch. So you third snuggled, wheeled? And I snuggled right between them. Aww. And then mm-hmm. he was playing which he was playing his games and I was just are you the little brother? Yeah. That's yeah. why you're the way you are. Why? Because you're weird. <laughs> uh, how does that mean? <laughs> you're weird. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Maybe maybe that's why you're so repressed as the older Wait, brother. Yeah, right? because I was, dude. Yeah, and yeah. I'm a middle child. Oh, dude. Oh, so, was, so it's all three. <laughs> the oldest, the middle, and the youngest. So much sense what? about the dinette. Oh, dude. my God. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> We just discovered this, dude. Oh, yeah. But that hang on, totally hang on. The now. age order doesn't make doesn't make sense. Who's the oldest amongst the three? I, I think, think I am. I was born in June twentieth, nineteen ninety two. You are older. Yeah, I'm December nineteen ninety two. If you would have been the oldest, then it would have been reversed, dude. <laughs> yeah. Damn, but I'm the youngest. <laughs> yeah, but you're the oldest <sighs> child in your family. Yeah, yeah. unfortunately, <laughs> the most repressed. John Wick. Yes. John Wick. John Wick Chapter Four. Yes. yes. I need a gun. Are you just going to stand there or are you going to get me a gun? <laughs> <laughs> Great movie. If you guys have not seen John Wick Chapter 4, yeah. it's a, it's a long this movie. is your spoiler warning. Spoiler warning. It's a long movie. But non-spoiler warning, this is my new favorite John Wick movie. Yeah. yeah. Two, and fi- two hours, 50 minutes. To wake yes. above the rest? Mm-hmm. Shut up, dude. No, that was good. Shut <laughs> your <laughs> you gotta just admit, shut up. Good. <laughs> shut your mouth, dude. Never. Never. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler warning. Let's move on. John Wick Chapter 4 starts us off a couple of years, it seems like, or like a couple of weeks. No, I would say it's about a month. It's been about a few a month. months. Yeah. Because, okay, if you if you really do look at John Wick at chapters one through three. It's a span of a week. It's, a, it's about week. a week. That's it what the director said. Yeah. It's about a week. So all of the all the damage. It's a hell of a week. Of, <laughs> <laughs> How'd you spend week. your spring break? Oh, you know. I annihilated an entire assassin organization. I people. I what did you do people. for your spring break? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people. I traveled across the Grove. Grove? Globe. <laughs> I could I lost the dog and stole the dog. And then got another dog. And I then took my saved car. another dog. <laughs> They took my car. Then I met a girl. She had two dogs. <laughs> <laughs> no, but anyway. Um, I miss my dog. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was funny, though, because <laughs> Monica, when we, took, we, when we went to go see this, yeah. you guys didn't bring your significant others. No. I brought mine. Yeah, and which is interesting because she's never seen. Because she had never seen a John Wick movie. Why would you start her off with this one? I, I Nick's didn't. a monster. And I, and I didn't. I started her off with one. While I took a nap in the, in the car, <laughs> no, 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 no. So I got to her house. Oh, I made dinner, and then I was like, I should at least. Start, you should probably at least watch one. Before no, we one watch. is the one that you don't want to watch. You can skip one, watch two, three, and then go into four. What? Well, no, because Hold on. okay. What did you just say? You can skip one. No, you can't. Story wise, you, you can can't. skip no, you can't. one if you've already seen mm. one. What did you just? Then because that makes no could, sense. No, because all you need to tell someone is that makes no man sense. Man has car and dog taken away from no, him. No, but that makes no Wife sense. Wife died. He goes yeah. back into the underground world and starts killing people. You, if you skip one, you skip like the entire introduction of John Wick. The thing is, is that I think you need to watch one because you need to see him lose what that that the, thing that was tethering him to his dog. life. Yeah, because then you, be, yeah. because then you feel kind of like how. You would feel how if you're the in rest a rush, the, how everybody else would want, how That's everybody amazing. else in their world feels of like he did this over a dog okay. and a car. Okay, let's compromise. That's ridiculous. Let's compromise. You no. can speed run John Wick <laughs> by watching up to the dog's death. You know what the funny thing is? <laughs> she just <laughs> dies the dog. Susie buries the dog. John Wick too. <laughs> 
thought it was funny. That's how you speed run John yeah. Wick. I thought, I thought it was funny because I, I, I was, we were on the way home and I was driving. And I go, what did you think? And she was like, she goes, it lost me a couple of times because it was just like nonstop action. Yes. I mean, can you imagine watching John Wick 2 <laughs> without John Wick 1? And you're just like, what's this guy killing everyone for? Because he lost his goddamn car? <laughs> like, yeah. What? Actually, what? Monster. You, know yeah. What? you know what? I that showed be, that, I'm telling you, that would be ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. If all you told them is like, oh, well, they stole his car. See, and then I he was like, so he murders like yeah. a thousand people? Yeah. For what? <laughs> Like what in the world? Yeah. And then they're like, and then, and then and he this, just gets his house blown up yeah. for no reason. Yeah, they're like, why are they blowing up this guy's house? Oh, because oh, he owed him something. Because he owes him something. Like what? Like From ten, where? Like, like what? Ten bucks? Like it was like he? it was like some sort of blood, you know, promise. Yeah. What? What is this like? You know, I'm like some I'm sort of like <laughs> really satanic group. Like, Look, don't be yelling no, at me. Yeah. He Brian, took Monica to go watch John Wick like, Four after I'm one. No, no, no. I'm trying to understand. <laughs> I your just, idiotic I'm trying to say you could speed run John Wick. Skip by John, don't like one. John Wick One. That's no, right. I like it. It's just no, don't. I don't think it's as important. <laughs> yeah, just no, watch. Like it. It. Look, look. Just watch up to the Hold part on. where he buries the dog, Hold and that's it. Watch the dog drag himself to John Wick and then die, and then bury him, and then you stop the movie and you start. John, <laughs> kill the dog, bury the damn dog, skip to chapter two. <laughs> That's literally like if somebody were to do a super cut of John Wick and made a forty-five minute version of John Wick and only cut oh, and only cut together so all funny. the talking parts. Yeah. That's like literally super cutting Can John Wick. That's all you out, mean. No, cutting out no, all because the that's all you John Wick They stole the dog. They killed the dog. Yeah. Stole stop, the car. Stop, and then John Wick. Stop. Shut, your, shut your mouth. Shut your stupid little mouth. Shut it. Because what you're saying is stupid. It's so idiotic. You want to really like. You want to just cut all of the action scenes and anything that made John There's Wick There's two cool. major action scenes in the first one. Stop. Stop. I'm thinking of a sped up version of John Wick. And it's just And it's just John the dog dying and then just going. And then like. And then that's it's it. Bull- it's, just, yeah. it's, just, it's just bullets. And then, and, and then you see Theon Greyjoy. It was just a dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, wait, wait. And wait, wait. Hang on. Gets shot. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. And, then, and then he goes. And then he just like crashes a car into another okay, car. Okay, I take it back. I take it back. You know what? We Stupid. can add one other part. What? We can add the part so... where they kill uh, Willem Dafoe. Oh. Willem Dafoe. Yeah. <laughs> and, so, and then so wait, why are they torturing? Uh, <laughs> why are they uh, torturing? Because kill he Willem didn't Dafoe? kill John. Um, yeah, because he didn't kill his friend. Why did they kill that one? Li- uh, yeah. Who cares? Hold dude. on. Okay. So, oh yeah. And but, then like just sped up to the girl getting shot, and he goes, the, "What happened to her? Oh, it was her her uh she did her, her thing. Yeah. She well, did her her, thing. Uh, her membership got revoked from what? <laughs> Best Buy. <laughs> <laughs> No, Costco. <laughs> she was sharing her Amazon account with people she wasn't she supposed was, to. She was sharing her Netflix password. <laughs> That's what they do. That's the new thing. <laughs> you telling me that was Netflix? Yes. That was the CEO that of was Netflix. The CEO of Netflix. <laughs> you mean excommunicado? <laughs> Uh, I have seen that you share your account with multiple people of 10 people across the country. Your membership is now revoked. <laughs> Good evening. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> that is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Oh my God. You've upset me so much. Okay, so besides the point, I was talking to Monica, back to what I was saying. Uh, yes. So I was trying to talk to Monica about it. And Monica and I was like, Monica, do you want to see two and three now? And she goes, no, I think I got it. Like, <laughs> like I think I, I think figured I, it I, out. I got the gist of it. Yeah, yeah. like I think I because fi- I was talking to her and she goes, honestly, I could watch one and four, mm-hmm. and four kind of explain two and three in like five minutes. It really yeah, summed it everything does. up. Where they were just like, well, what happened to John? Oh, uh, well, you know, he shot a dude inside of the inside the hotel. Okay. Oh, did you <laughs> did you see that he uh, Keanu Reeves summed up all three movies in under one minute? Dude, no, really? to be yeah. fair, mm-hmm. he kind of did, but then the timer pods like three different oh, times. Yeah. Well, yeah. I thought it was funny because I asked her, what did okay, you think of... Life, I, got a pee now. Sorry, <laughs> I asked her, I go, what did you think of the uh, of the club scene? And she goes, I got bored. <gasps> what? Of the, the first one? No, 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 no. The club scene in, in four. Oh, four. Because she was like... Go pee! Because ju- it just... she Because from, from her point of view... It just kept happening. Yeah, that's the and point. Then, 
I, and I, I was trying to explain that to her too. Of like, that's kind of the point, and it's in a, it's in like this hyper realistic world. And she was like, they're just people dancing. Yeah, the entire time, and it was so funny because she was like, I saw people were doing the same. I started paying attention to the background dancers, not the fight scene, because she caught eyes with like one of the dancers, and like she just saw like her just doing the same. <laughs> over and over again and she was like oh i can i can then like visualize what the director was telling her of like keep your hands in the air just keep dancing so it looks like the, the like the club is bigger <laughs> and that there's more people here and she was like i should like think of that while i'm watching the movie so here's the thing okay i feel like john wick four is the best of John Wick 2 and the best of John Wick 3 because John Wick 2 had a really good story yeah and maybe a handful of good fight scenes and John Wick 3 had a pretty decent story but really great fight scenes mm-hmm. I'm not going to lie I thought that the movie was going to end like twice yeah so my thing is this I did get with Lord the time ty- <laughs> you uh, got Lord maybe? of the Rings because oh, no. it was like one in the morning. No, 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 no. Because when he goes at, at the very end of the movie, he's already made this deal with the Round Table to to fight it. And um, when he go and like then he goes down and it's kind of like the ending of three, or no, it's kind of the ending of two. Where they're putting up a bounty for him, and they're doing all these other things, and they're like, "Are you talking about the end of three or the end of or the- no, 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 no? Okay, so you know, at the in the very middle, of the, in like the two hour mark, right when he gets to right when they finish in Paris, and then they set a time and day, then it says, "Oh, he's not even going to make it to the meeting." Yeah, and then they all start like putting a bounty out for him. Oh yeah, it's basically it's basically beginning of it's the two. end of two. Yeah, it's the it's the very end of two when they start setting everything up. I honestly did think they were going to end it there, and then part five was going to be him getting. Do you pay attention to, to the news at all? No. Do you, no. Then no. you need to start because you you should because here's what they've funnier. said. No, <laughs> this is obviously funny. No, because here's see Renee's agreeing with me. Here's the thing: they've already said that John Wick Four is it. Yeah. That they might continue the universe with some other story, but the story for John Wick is over after four. Yeah. That is it. They've also said that there is a cut out there. Their first cut was three hours and 45 minutes long. They literally had to cut an hour of this movie. I, I did see, feel I the same way. I can see a couple places where you could I, cut more. Oh, no. No, no, no. I'm glad they didn't. Because the I'm in- glad they didn't, but I can definitely see where it's like, like it was 10 like- more minutes of him falling down the stairs. Dude, that scene, the entire theater was yeah. like, oh my God. <laughs> that was honestly, that's how I felt too. I, he got to the very top, he gets to the very top of the stairs mm-hmm. and you're like, that was awesome. And then he just gets kicked down the stairs. Let's do it again, guys. <laughs> and then he, and then you just see Donnie Yen just go, John, you really need to get up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How long until sunrise? I don't know. Like three Two, minutes. Three, three minutes. minutes. <laughs> yeah. And then they start walking up 125. <laughs> Your ass steps. is like, go, dude. Did you hear me? Yeah. I was like, like, why are they walking? <laughs> it's only three. Three minutes is not that long. So, look, I can see what you mean because you can split up four into two parts. You I think you could split it up into two decent parts. I really do. Which is fine, that. right? But the point of it is that it's a continuation of what happens in three after the Continental basically goes back to. Being a hotel, but I feel that John Wick movies do really well as an hour thirty, hour forty five. But here, okay, the way I see the length of this movie is like when you get your first serving of desserts, and you really feel like if you were to have a second helping, you're not gonna stomach it. But then you do. You might feel sick afterwards, but it was well worth it. That's what I think about this movie, because every aspect of every fight scene in John Wick Four, I loved. It was ridiculous. It was stupid at some points. My favorite part, okay, visually, Mm -hmm. the Hotline Miami inspiration. That sequence Mm -hmm. was. Did they actually say it was was from Hotline Miami? No, but you come on. It was GTA Hotline Miami inspired. It it definitely looked Hotline Miami inspired, where they're going room to room. Yeah, it's that was was so beautiful. Mm -hmm. 
I was getting chills the, the entire especially time. Especially with like, the dragon's breath, so you can see the, like, oh, the fire. Oh, yeah. Dude. Yeah. Did you see, I love the part where he enters the kitchen and he shoots upward and the guy just flips up into mm-hmm. the table. So great. But the other part that got me, the other fight scene, mm-hmm. was the nunchuck scene. Oh, when he goes yeah. all Bruce Lee with guns. Mm-hmm. He's that. in like the glass museum again. Yeah. Like, I love how they love putting Keanu Reeves in like mirrors, mirrors or glass. Well, he really he really likes uh, Enter the Dragon. Oh, yeah? Like he, he, he really okay. likes that movie. So that makes sense. But I for... I, the other thing too is I really wanted to see more of Donnie Yen f- up close fighting, um, like more more martial arts from Donnie Yen. Him him using a sword still really cool. I liked you, seeing him use a gun, but seeing him just fists was awesome. Oh, yeah. it's always it's always just awesome, especially when he just uses some guy's head like a speed bag. Yeah. That was really cool. Cause, was great, yeah. No, because Monica was like, oh my God, like that was so fast. And I'm like, that's not even like his fastest. Like, <laughs> no, no. like there she I was like, babe, we can watch a movie where so, you just see his fist. For our listeners that are not familiar with uh Donnie Yen, mm-hmm. yeah. He uh cause I was telling this to Renee, mm-hmm. he's the blind guy from Rogue One. He's also IP man. He's also IP IP man too. Yeah. 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 So it's a movie where he just pees on things. Yeah. He goes, <laughs> IP. <laughs> and then no. somebody, no. And somebody, and somebody goes, and now hey, you're, you're not allowed to do that. And he goes, <laughs> <laughs> and he just becomes a machine gun with yeah. his fist. Your favorite part about Donnie or uh, the uh, Kane? Oh, the, yeah, the character's Kane. Kane yeah. <laughs> the fact that his name, he was a blind guy with a cane, does not matter. And his All name was Kane. Kane. So my favorite part is when he put up those. Those doorbell sign sensors. That was really cool. But my favorite was when he first put up the the first one. He put it up like this high, and then remembered. He's like, oh, because <laughs> I thought it was funny <laughs> that he like, went. Yeah. He then realized they're short. Yes, <laughs> I love that, and I love it was so it's subtle so, too. He just so remembered good. like, oh wait. <laughs> like, I, I thought it was yeah. funny because he literally went, uh, and then he realized. I'm in Japan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, that's so messed up. Yeah, that's what I was, I was laughing so at. The brilliance, the brilliance behind a John Wick action scene yeah. is that I don't think it takes itself too seriously. It mm-hmm. wants to look cool, yeah. but it also understands. Because Andy, when I showed Andy the first one, she's like, why are you laughing at these scenes? And I'm like, because it's freaking awesome. It is pretty funny. They're so great. But the brilliancy is shown a lot in John Wick 4. Because in the nunchuck scene, my favorite part about that was when he's fighting the two armored guards Mm -hmm. and he's trying to take down one. Can you look up the villains? Not the villains, but like their seconds. Like they're they're kinda like their boss. They're the like the big bosses. Oh, okay. Okay. So do you know that scene that I'm talking about where he's fighting the two armored guards in the uh, in the glass room and he's trying to take down one? And the other one's just being shot down and yeah, pinned it, up against the it, drum. Like, yeah, he's it's, getting pinned up against. The, it's in the trailer. Yeah, it's, in the trailer. it's such a great scene because the guy is literally trying to get his ass up, and John Wick just keeps shooting him down. He's not dead. The amount of double tap that was in this movie. He's great. Oh, this, it, guy? Hmm? this guy. No. Uh, okay. So that's Marco. That's the that's the guy that was like the big bad in this one. I'm he just, was the second in command for the Marquez or the was it uh, Bill Skarsgård. Yeah. And then you the Marquis. have Marquis. I'm not gonna lie though, I do think that Bill Skarsgård has been the best villain in all of the John Wicks. You know you what? Know? I, I I do prefer him more than um, who's was the, this, the th- second villain? The, the villain from the second one. Yeah, like was he, was cool. he was cool. Oh, he, yeah, yeah. Uh, what was it? Santino. Um, Santino. Santino. Yeah. Because Santino, he was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. He was he was a cool villain. Who was the villain in three? Oh, Himself. It, no, it was um, the Elder. Yes, the the what, no no, no oh, it no. was um it was her oh 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 it was uh uh the guy from Iron Shit there it is yeah. <laughs> he was the he was like the he was uh the high tables like his name was Zero wasn't like, it yeah it was yeah. it was yeah. it was he was the high tables like dog like, yeah he was hired yeah, he was oh hired. that's right yeah. that's right and he had like the two other guys from the from, raid from the raid mm-hmm. yeah and so it was more of like a group of people than one person it was it, mostly her in control. In the second one, I mean the third one, I mean yes, but that was it. There was no main person because okay. he was still on the run because yeah. he was still excommunicado. Yeah, yeah, and then Bill Skarsgård is when he's let off the re- when he's let off the leash. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, he was trying to be Dude, one I'm of not, the. He was I'm, trying to take, or he was trying to be 
seen by the high table. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, dude. Every single time I saw Bill Skarsgård in this movie, I was like, that dude looks fresh. That you know what? He great. was looking, yeah. He, he was, was looking, looking pretty. The dapper. character <laughs> development in every yeah. John Wick movie mm-hmm. is great because I love how the Marquis, mm-hmm. his one thing was that he was a sweets guy. Mm-hmm. So if you notice when he meets mm-hmm. uh, Winston oh, yeah. and uh, Sharon. Yeah, he's putting sugar. And he's he, putting, only, he puts two, he puts uh, sugar, sugar, and then he like thinks about it and then he puts like Another thing of sugar and, he puts, and then he licks. He puts half a scoop. Yeah. And, and then, then like he, licks the spoon mm-hmm. and I think there's nothing in it. He's just putting sugar he's in the cup. No, he's just tasting. No, he's, because you, because you know, you ever, you ever done that with coffee? Like you ever put you two things your spoon. In, and then you lick the spoon? No, but there was no sweet. liquid in that, in that cup. I think he was just drinking sugar or eating sugar. No, I think it was, oh, it was tea. tea. Was it? Was, was, tea. It? Yeah, it was tea. Because it was rubbing against the bottom and I heard it. Well, no, no. That. Okay, well, okay. He saw Winston was looking at the hourglass. So he was being a little bit of an asshole and just kind of stirring a little bit more. Yeah. More exact, so because as, Winston, as Winston kept was, looking at the hourglass. So and then was, yeah, when, as the beads of time mm-hmm. were passing. And then when he's speaking to Kane, mm-hmm. he literally has a table oh, full of yeah, sweets. Like, like a dessert Table. And he's yeah. just eating yeah. that and going he's like, eating, yeah, he's eating like a tart, I think. Yeah, or something yeah. Like that. It's, it, he loves the sweets. Mm-hmm. He's a man of fine taste, you mm-hmm. know, kind of yes. thing. The character development, it's not said, it's shown. And that is yeah. brilliancy when it comes to I thought to it was play. so funny because mm-hmm. at, at a certain point in the movie, he's standing over uh, just like a model of Paris. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, at the end. <laughs> at the end. And I was like. What is this used for? Mm-hmm. Like, why do oh, they yeah. just have because a mo- it's cool. Why do they have a model of Paris that he's just standing over? <laughs> yeah, it's not like he's moving stuff around or like he's. He is. He's, no, he like, has like little pieces on the board. He's got right? chess pieces on there. Oh, like chess okay. pieces and like it has like little like because it's different. It's different factions that are mm-hmm. going after John. Mm-hmm. And then, like you see him like knocking stuff over. And I that's guess when... aesthetically, it looks pleasing that the villain is looking over a diorama. Like, I, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, when did yeah. he have time for this? Like, who did he like? He's got the high table resources. I just thought said. it was so like, funny because I liked thinking of him going like, "I would like a diorama." You know what? <laughs> like, who I didn't ever to expect to ever appear in a John Wick movie is Clancy Brown. Oh, as one of the high table yes. representatives? Yeah, yeah representatives. He's, like He played the role really well. What, who does he voice? Because his voice oh, sounds really Oh, he voices Patrick a bunch. Star. Yeah, he also voiced... No. He's Patrick Star. He's not Patrick Star. Is he? No. Patsy Brown. No, he's, no, he's Mr. Krabs. Thank you. That's yeah. what it is. Thank you. I was, I was like, like, that's no, not Pat, Patrick, Patrick Star. Patrick Star is um, Marshall's dad. Yeah. yeah. And so then I was like, what? No, but no, uh, no, no, you're right. It is. It is. It's it, Mr. Krabs. It's Mr. Krabs. But uh, <laughs> I knew he was in SpongeBob. No, okay, but he's also <laughs> voice. <laughs> he's also voice Lex Luthor in both Justice League. Thank and you. The yeah. Superman animated yeah. series. Could yeah. you imagine the duel at the end? And then he's just like, well, he's, also, he's also the the red horde dude from Mandalorian season oh, season one. Oh, that's right. Mm-hmm. And when the the when they're doing the prisoner episode, you know the big horn dude. Yeah, that's him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, but yeah, so I, he played it really well. I didn't I'm, never expected him to I'm, be in a John. I'm Wick just movie upset today. that Jason Manzukis wasn't in this one. I wanted Jason Manzukis more. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I was kind of like hoping that because he was really cool. And I liked the fact that the he, was, he was that he was uh, part of the Bowery. Yeah, like the Bowery King second. Yeah. I just thought that was funny. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I was okay. like, Jason so, Manzukis. Let's move on. From this, because we can all agree that John Wick Four visually is phenomenal. Mm-hmm. The acting, it's the actors of, and actresses, there's a lot of really beautiful shots. This is a yeah. uh, this is a DP's like wet dream basically, basically. Yeah. because there's so many beautiful colors, so many great cinematic shots. The action sequences are choreographed to perfection. It's great. Let's talk about the story because I feel like a lot of people are criticizing this two hour or almost three hour. Um, length of this movie and saying that the story suffers a lot mm-hmm. because there's a lot of unnecessary like dialogue. There's a lot of unnecessary buildup. You can really kind of like push it all together, shorten it up a bit. The, the, there's a lot of, and I get it. It's the last one that we're doing. We're ending it on four. So we want to give everybody bang for their buck. And they did. Yeah. And they did. But like you were, like we were saying when we were leaving the movie theater, you can really feel its length in Paris once you start getting into those Paris fights Mm -hmm. they really stretch those Paris fights like they were like you can kind of feel that they were overstretching it where like when they were inside of the uh, circle yeah and like the fight just kept going and going and going and and, and, like he's getting hit by one car two cars three cars his worst enemy (laughs) 
The only thing to defeat a John, to defeat John Wick. No, they Connor. don't even defeat him, dude. They just knock him down and he gets back up. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, at least he's gotten better. Remember in the first one, he got hit by one car and he was out. Yeah. I will say, this is not a movie to show, you know, people that are still developing mentally. Because you keep thinking. And there was a part of me in my head where I'm just like, dude, can you survive getting hit by a car? Because John Wick got hit by so many cars. Well, and no, you're like, how do you it, stand? It's really funny because if, if you watch it closely, every single time he's about to get hit by a car, he doesn't. No. He gets hit by the windshield. Yes, he jumps yeah. last moment. He yeah, jumps at the last he moment leans, and then he leans, leans into, into the windshield. Yeah. So don't try this at home. Yeah, no. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. No. Unless don't you even would... think about it. You I know, thought about it for you. You know what? What? Not don't no. do it. No, no, don't do it. If you don't, if no, you do no, do no, it. No, 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 Nick. Lean into the window. No, 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 if you do Renee, do it, Renee. congratulations. <laughs> and you live. You're on the bottom. Yeah. You're on the bottom totem pole. <laughs> and then if you, if you miss your mark and you're in the hospital, what'd you do wrong, man? You could have <laughs> just, you. You just like just make, a, make sure go a little hit, higher. Before that's it. And now look at you now. Before you do it though, yeah. hit that subscribe button. Oh, thanks. <laughs> oh, nice little yeah. play. All right, good job. But, story. So the the action scenes were too long. Mm-hmm. You, you felt that link there. But the story, the plot, right? What about that? Because I feel like that wasn't. And that's and this oh, is the reason everyone say it's welcome. And that and this is the reason why I say John Wick movies succeed really well when they're an hour and a half, hour and forty five, because there isn't a lot of dialogue in a John Wick movie. Uh huh. It's a lot of action, and you can you can allow for those long stretches of action of just like boom, 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 and then a twenty minute talking scene or like a ten minute talking scene, and then going back into it and then having another ten minute talking scene. Yeah, when you have two hours of pure, uh, an hour and a half of, two, of, of pure action, <laughs> hour and a half, <laughs> and twenty minutes of dialogue, and then twenty minutes of dialogue, <laughs> and then you then have another hour and a half of dialogue. <laughs> I'm just action. I'm not gonna lie; it's kind of exhausting, dude. I, no. Okay, so I, I liked up, it. <laughs> like, no, no, no. I'm not you, saying I didn't like it, but by the time I left the movie theater, I was pretty exhausted. Like I was winded. Like, not gonna. I was, I was like, oh my god. Yeah. Like, I can't do it. I'm not I, gonna lie. I can feel how tired he is. I'm not gonna lie. At work, it got pretty quiet, and in my head, I just kept hearing whoa, 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 and. <laughs> In yeah. my head, I'm like, dude, this sound, man, it doesn't leave. And then Brian, and then Brian woke up and he just went, "What have I done?" <laughs> <laughs> he gets in his car, hands are all bloody. He's like, what just happened? What? <laughs> <laughs> and Brian's on the run. That's, that's how that works. This is the last episode. Yeah, <laughs> Brian's a serial killer. <laughs> the story for John Wick Four is interesting because it's it literally starts with <laughs> what story? <laughs> the story. Is- <laughs> Someone actually came up to me today at work What's and was story? just like, John Wick 3 didn't have a story. I'm like, I think that's kind of the point. You're not really there for the story. You're there for the action. Yeah, sequences. you're not watching. It. Honestly, you're not watching to see how the story Here's the story. John Wick's happening. You're watching because you want to see John Wick, how he's going to creatively murder some people again. You know? No, but like, because there's a lot of stuff that, like, like okay. there's a lot of stuff that's like unanswered, like nobody. Like where do you get his? Where do you? Where Doesn't do you matter. Get he's his nobody. nobody. So, so it's interesting how they brought in that character. With no hint or anything pri- previously to that, bringing him in and then just kind of like, okay, he, the movie's over. You know, I thought it was gonna be like he, we were gonna follow him. He's just a cool character. No, but he is, and I would love to follow that character. Well, honestly, I, I think you still can. Yeah, they have that 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 ability because yeah. for him, his storyline is that he's a hunter. Yeah, he's in it for the bounties, and he's a cool guy yeah. because he's he looks kind of like raggedy. He's got a dog, yeah. so you have that kind of like interest and appeal to him already. Mm-hmm. His action scenes are freaking awesome. Mm-hmm. I oh, love, love the part his, where I love his rifle. His oh, rifle. He oh just takes my it god! Apart, puts it back in his bag and just goes. Dude, the backpack, yeah. it's oh, yeah. a vest. That caught me off guard. I, the moment yeah. he went, I, I like, love the idea hell yeah. of that. It's just a Winchester, just mm-hmm. modernized Winchester. I oh. thought I, I thought he was gonna say like he's like the Bowery's like top hit man or something like that. Cause he looked like he was, he, he was, he could have been part of the Bowery. What you trying to say? But, huh? What you trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> I Nothing. knew you, I knew, I knew well, where you were going with this. Don't listen. I don't look in the world through that way. 
I just see people. You just see the Bowery. Yeah, I just see, <laughs> I just see people. So whatever you're doing, I'm not doing anything. Yeah, no, but you're no, no, you're, no. you're labeling I mean, people. I mean, like, <laughs> you're the one that said he lo- he looked you like he belonged in the Bowery. This, Nick. Yeah, you started I'm this. I'm, I I'm just not saying. saying I'm, you know? I'm just asking him. I just asked one. Oh, yeah. shut up! That's all I asked. You got mm-hmm. cornered. <laughs> I don't you like got, John you got John Wick. Got well, John Wick. Verbally. I'm going to John Wick you. <laughs> Try me. I need a gun. You need a gun. All right. So, yeah. nobody. So, but yeah. No, uh, so, like I said, I would love to follow that character moving forward. But they, would, didn't, yeah. they didn't really hint, especially how this movie ended. That's the thing. Well, that was the thing, though, is that because they left a lot of hints. And I, I imagine that might be inside of the hour that's missing. <laughs> I, I can only imagine what's in that hour. Um, because if you look at his book, when he's flipping through it in the very beginning, you can see he yeah, has there's, a lot, lot, yeah. there's a lot there. Yeah. He, has, he has drawings of John Wick. I, he's got I, drawings I, of ev- of everything, yeah. but even it, markings. And that was the thing, though, is that I thought what I thought is that he was going to be like the child of somebody who was hunting John, hmm. and then John killed, and then it was like, oh yeah, like I, that's how he has the notebook. How mm-hmm. much do you want to bet? That if Lionsgate wants to hold on to this IP, right, and make a bigger world out of it, oh, they could. You can make a nobody show. I think that was their that was their biggest thing. I think when they started John Wick and had to do a sequel, and then did another sequel, they're like, "How do we keep this going if Keanu Reeves doesn't want to do this anymore?" You do it with him because what Nick said, that book had a lot of information. Well, there was two shows that they were trying to well the push forward the continental was supposed to be a prequel yeah and then they want to do the ballerina as well too which had to do with the orphanage that the john wick came from yeah that's i i don't really care much for that that's the thing and they it was gonna star the 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 woman from knives out that yeah. played the the nurse yeah mm-hmm. she was gonna be the ballerina and stuff that's like that cool, though. yeah that's a, that's a cool but, idea but that it's very um mm-hmm. scar i mean a uh, black widow s yeah it would have been cool to see that but i think they didn't move forward with that yeah, at all a, but you can move like forward with the no body show mm-hmm. because that story there yeah. it's unfinished mm-hmm. but if you look at that book it had family crests mm-hmm. it had markings yeah. it had sketchings mm-hmm. but, but it also had a bounty limit exactly mm-hmm. that was what i noticed too because halfway through it i he noticed was that looking for 500 million yeah to, and that's was going to be his cap that was like his cap of mm-hmm. like so what i thought he was going to do is because when i first saw it i was like oh he's going to sabotage them at every yeah. point to that's what get I thought that too. bounty raised mm-hmm. continuously and he's going to be in the in the shadows just killing like the people that are sent to kill john mm-hmm. because he even says too me and you are in on are are in our we're we're in this together he's playing the game yeah where i'm going to keep you alive until that bounty's where i want it <laughs> then i'm going to kill you all right, twenty five million. The price just went up to thirty five. That <laughs> yeah, was really good. Yeah, forty million. <laughs> forty yeah. million now. That's that the that's the deal that's being offered right now. He's such a cool character. That's the thing is that John Wick. The knife scene. I saw you squint. The what? And the knife. Oh, scene? dude, that was oh. gross. Yeah, that oh, was yeah. a good scene. That was a that was great scene. scene. That's so gross. I, I don't even. I, I was just standing looking at him like, oh yeah. <laughs> 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 I was like, yeah, do it. I was like, do it, dude. I was, no. Do it. <laughs> do it. I will say that John Wick does a really good job at making characters, like you siding with characters. Mm-hmm. Because when Andy saw the first one, she had a motive to continuously want to watch the John Wick series mm-hmm. because they killed the dog. And she's like, I want everyone dead. And I'm like, yeah, that's the point. Yeah. Everybody in this world needs to die. Which is why you need to watch John Wick 1. Yeah. No, watch it up until they bury the dog. Then you... <laughs> No, no, we're not gonna start this again. Hold on, this is the reason why you can't watch until they kill John Wick until they kill the dog. Exactly. No, no, no. This is why you can't. No, you can't. So because they don't even because by the time the jo- the dog dies, they don't even explain the fact that John Wick was an assassin. Good. Oh, sure. He's not. He's not. Like no, they don't even I, go I into stand, the Baba Yaga stuff. Strong. They don't even go into the Baba Yaga I stuff. I stand yet. strong. Like Point literally, he, he would end the movie. You would literally end the movie. They circle before around. Before he goes, oh yeah, he's they the he's circle the around. <laughs> To the fact that dogs matter, because in this movie, mm-hmm. as one of the second guy, I forget his name, nobody? is about to shoot the dog, nobody's dog. What does John Wick do? He could have killed nobody. Could have. But he doesn't. He saves yeah. the dog. He does. And that changes the entire trajectory of the plot. I thought it was hilarious that in John Wick 4, I would love to see that that like pitch meeting when they're all talking and they're going like, we need to make this harder. <laughs> like <laughs> Because John just kind of mows through people, and it's very easy for him to just kind of like bang, bang, bang. All these people are dead. 
how do we make this harder? It's like, what's the one thing that keeps John alive? <laughs> His suit. What if, we <laughs> gave, what if we just gave everybody the suit? Yeah. And we just went, okay, everybody has this suit now. And just everybody's just... <laughs> the entire movie. Like, I thought it was so funny because Monica didn't see two. So she never saw the scene where they go, it's a ballistic suit. Oh, yeah. So she was just like... What does this do? Uh, like, you know what? I was what thinking about that, that when I was thinking about that. If Monica was watching it for the first time and just they're all going like this, and, and like, yeah. what is it like a emotional protective thing? Like, <laughs> I don't shoot me. You can't see me. Not but yet. not only that, but also it's bouncing off like armor. Oh, like, yeah. it's not even. Oh my god, the yeah. brilliancy behind that mm-hmm. when they're about to duel and he takes off his vest and mm-hmm. uh, jacket. Oh yeah, and he just starts hearing bullets ding, ding, falling. Ding, ding. Yeah, that was, oh, that was so good, dude. That was, that was the, good. the little, the little tiny touches because that's hilarious. Where you just hear like, like just stuff, like just like bullets falling from his from his. It's like so good. We stuff. do have to wrap up this issue pretty soon, so I want to do any last thoughts. We on should John talk about the ending. The ending. Yes. So how it ends. Okay, we'll talk about the ending. Yeah. We'll say what our favorite mm-hmm. part is, and that's it. Yeah. Right. Any last thoughts? Uh, do you want to start us off? Uh, yeah. So the movie finally ends of him getting his freedom. Mm-hmm. And he does it by having a duel with Bill Skarsgård's character, Marquis. Marquis. And um, it's he chooses Donnie Yen's character, Kane, to represent him in the duel. And they do like the whole pa- 20, 30 paces. That was a really cool scene. Yeah. They Alexander Hamilton. Yes. And then they get closer when they miss until one of them dies. They end up both shooting at each other. And John Wick gets like a couple of shots in him. And basically... Two out of the three. Two, yeah, two out of the three. And then obviously he saves a bullet and shoots his, shoots Marquez. Or Marquise. What's Marquise. Marquise. Marquise's character, his uh, John, Bill Scargill's character, and he dies, mm-hmm. which gives John Wick his freedom. Everyone wins essentially. But before the Marquise dies, mm-hmm. he gives Kane his freedom and his yeah. daughter. So he's granted so, his freedom. Yeah. Yeah. So he's, you know, he's also off the hook. Mm-hmm. And then I, I do love the, I do love Winston when he just goes, "You cocky bastard!" Yeah. <laughs> you, he you didn't shoot. So, yeah. He goes, "He never shot." Yeah. <laughs> and he goes, "What?" And he looks he back. Just, Boom! <laughs> I was like, "That's so funny." Mm-hmm. Of he, he was like, "I won." Like, mm-hmm. Well, they I, even I, I won, freaking won, do that what we did mm-hmm. with nobody because afterwards they sh- they go over to nobody. He's like, "Dude, that was awesome. Yeah, that, that was good. great. Yeah, that was good." <laughs> I, I, so. I think I think it's so funny because mm-hmm. but even mm-hmm. but I thought it was so interesting too because nobody kind of didn't. That was the thing I was. That was the one thing I was kind of confused about because at first nobody really didn't want to kill John. No, he wants the money. He just he wanted the money, but he was okay with just tracking him. Yeah, because he even tells him that's not the deal we made. The deal that we made was for me just to find him and for me to tell you where easy he is. Money. He's a money easy money. Easy money. Money man. Yeah, but because he already knows. If I try to go up against John, yeah, I'm not gonna win. I'm gonna die. Yeah. Like everybody that's gone up against John so mm-hmm. far has died. It's that's just that's just what happens. Mm-hmm. So and I, that was the other reason why at a certain point I was like, man, like there's a lot of plot. There's a, I mean, not a lot of plot. <laughs> there's not a lot of plot. Uh, there's just a lot of like. W- there's a lot of levels to this to this movie mm-hmm. because it's you know they start in they they start in the Middle East, mm-hmm. then they then they shoot over to Japan, then you have that entire. What twenty thirty minutes inside of J- in mm-hmm. in the uh, which in, I think it was like forty minutes. You think like is from, that forty five minutes from from the time that the movie starts and then to when he leaves Japan? Yeah, that's like a good forty five. It's like forty five minutes, yeah, right? It's a good, yeah. yeah. And then after that scene, mm-hmm. you then go to Russia. Yeah. No, you go to Germany because it's in Berlin. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Because they say go, you have to go back he has to, to Berlin. Go back to his, fa- well, his no, family. Sorry. Get get a, get a sorry. crest. He goes. <laughs> this dude was doing a lot of traveling for somebody. Yeah. Who was I think this. Nerdist did the calculations mm-hmm. in the first three movies. He traveled like fifteen thousand miles or something mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. So it's but a lot. I just thought it was funny though because he went from the Middle East to Japan, mm-hmm. back to New York, so that way he could meet with Winston. Mm-hmm. Then he then flew to Germany. Then from Germany he went to Paris. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then he just walked. And then he just walked <laughs> to, yeah. to the museum. Uh, Last but, thoughts, Nick. Yeah, I, I I enjoyed the movie. I I really did kind of want this to be split. I I, do, I I felt a little exhausted by the end of it, and it's not just the time. It wasn't just the time. <laughs> it was all the action. I yeah. felt like I was a part. Well, of they did. Movie. They did essentially cram in a lot of stuff. For they crammed it, in two movies for it to be its last 
film with Keanu Reeves. Oh yeah, he dies. And um, <laughs> well, we said he succumbs. Yeah, he, that's what that means. Gets shot and dies. And um, that's the thing. And I was telling Brian this that I'm glad that they didn't label it as John Wick Last Chapter. I'm glad they did because that chapter. obviously, if you say allegedly, if, yeah, he died. You say he, he's dead. Allegedly, no. Keanu Reeves is not going to do it again. Like, you see how much stuff he did in this he's film. Exa- he's exhausted, yeah, dude. dude. He's old. He's going to die. Allegedly, at it's some like, point. What, how how, how long has he been? Doing? <laughs> it's like what nine years? The but for um, ten the year first anniversary one? for John Wick is next year. Okay, yeah. So he's did nine it within years. a decade. That's yeah. the thing. He's he devoted a whole decade of doing John Wick films, That's and fine. also made. Ten. So hold on, he made John Wick. And also made Matrix again. Yeah, Matrix That's all in yeah. nine years. We can do another three. And John he's, he's voiced a couple of characters here now and then as well. Yeah, you know. That's and then, fine. Oh, and he, he, wasn't he also? Didn't the SpongeBob movie also come out? That's what I'm saying. He yeah, it was also that as well too. Yeah, he was a couple of Netflix films as well too. It's okay. Give me three more. No, don't be an MCU villain. I mean, it's MCU villain. fan. <laughs> you know, it's like Robert Downey Jr. can do it until no, like, no, you no. know that. Yeah. I will say this. Till he's gray. Do you yeah. have Do you have last thoughts before? I... Yeah. Overall, I did enjoy this film. My favorite John Wick movie of all time. Yeah. Um, I'm super satisfied of how this the franchise ended in my opinion cool Mm -hmm. I will say this this is the movie that needs to be recommended to John Wick fans and you have to go see it because it is the best John Wick movie out of all four it's definitely that best one but it's not a movie that you can that you should bring people to watch like first it's not it can't be that way there's a lot of stuff that like you need to understand from prior John Wick's to get into this one I will say that if you're a huge John Wick fan, this is the movie that's going to make you like cry because it's so good. If you are an okay John Wick fan, like you can appreciate the movies, you're going to feel the length. You're going to say that this movie's too long and you're going to be really exhausted by the end of it where you're going to be like, oh, I don't think I can do it. Try to say I'm, a, I'm an okay John Wick no, fan? No, because you're exhausted, but you enjoyed the movie. I liked yeah, it. Yeah, you you liked it. You, that's fine. What I'm saying is that you're going to have people that are going to say, well, this movie was kind of like, eh. Like if Andy watches this movie and she says, oh, this is basically Transformers the last night, I'm going to be like, and no, we're not going to do this. No, but I, but I, I can understand if somebody were to say, I'm going to do this movie in shifts. Sure. Like I'm gonna do this movie in chapters. You can stop it. It's Justice League. It very much so. You can if, Justice if, League. If, it. if this movie was in chapters, I think it would be so much more. If like, they weren't so much of cowards, then we can have the three and the almost four hour cut, and we you, can do. Chapters. If you do a four hour cut, then we gotta do chapters. Yeah, like, I want to see. I want to totally see. Cha- I want to see chapter one. Yeah, which is fine. We can also, the Bowery King in the very beginning was awesome. Yeah. So I really recommend this movie. I loved it. It's my favorite John Wick out of all of them. The action sequences were beautiful. The story was pretty great. The actors and actresses in this movie were awesome. Donnie I Yen recommend was, it. Donnie Yen was great. Oh, yeah. And the uh, the guy at the beginning that runs the uh, Osaka. Oh, Continental. Osaka content. Yeah. yeah. Good. Oh, he was. He's great, too. He plays a samurai and everything. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, while Renee looks that up, I will remind you guys uh, we're going to be closing up this Check issue, 141 of Keeping Up With The Nerds. Check out our website at keepingupwiththenerds.com. Follow our socials on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And if you are listening to us on any audio platform, this podcast, go check us out on YouTube. Go subscribe. Like the video. Uh, comment down below what your guys' favorite parts of John Wick were, if you guys saw it. Or you know, comment on any of the subject matter that we talked about in this issue, mm-hmm. uh, because we've got plenty to talk about. And you guys can catch us every Wednesday at 1130 on audio platforms and YouTube. I found his name, but can you pronounce it? Nick? Hiroyuki Sanada. There you go. There yeah. You go. Great. Loved him at the beginning of John Wick. You don't great. know oh, who so he good. is. He plays a great character actor. He does. He was yeah. in Bullet Train as well. Yeah. yeah. He was the grandpa. Yes. Yeah. I forgot that's how he looked when he was younger. He yeah. looks pretty good. Dude, he's he's he still looks good, man. He's, he's still, he's yeah. still yeah. a good looking dude. But he looks old. Like, I'm like, oh, wow. So much difference between time. <laughs> you know? like, that's and, what time does to you. Yeah, time, yeah. Time, time, and time does with that, let's wrap up this issue of Keeping Up With The Nerds. He definitely has ready? city miles on. Are you ready, <laughs> Nicholas? No. Okay. No. Renee, are you ready? Yeah, go ahead. This has been Keeping Up With The Nerds, issue 141. My name is Brian. Nick. Renee. Signing up from Undercity Comics. We'll see you all next time. (laughs) Shut up. (laughs)